She's putting you to shame, man. She's putting you to shame. She did it on purpose. She pulled up all front brake. Just boom. <laughs> Preloaders, BI preloaders. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Always a pleasure to have you guys here with me, and you know this by now, or at least you should. For those of you that are here for the first time, welcome to you as well. My name is Robert. I'm a retired NYPD Highway Patrol motorcycle lieutenant. And the name of this wonderful, wonderful channel, guys, is Be the Boss of Your Motorcycles. Guys, ah, oh, you see the smile? Let me get closer. See the smile? Haven't been able to wipe it off my face in the past couple of days. And why is that? Well, first of all, let me welcome you to practice session number 71. And yes, this is a traveling practice session. And if you look behind me, clearly by this backdrop, you can see I am not any place where I've ever been before for a practice session. I am in Southern California, specifically Lake Elsinore, California. I'm at the uh, uh, Lake Elsinore First Assembly, right? This is a church. So uh, let me first give a big shout out to Pastor Fred who allowed us to use this church facility. And when I say the facility, not just the parking lot, which is a beautiful parking lot, nicely paved, striped lines. You know how we love that. But also allowing us to use the facilities inside to use the bathroom and stuff. Like that's huge, huge, huge. So I have to thank him, right? Okay, I have to thank. Oh my gosh, guys. I always tell you guys that Preloader Nation are full of people that are above and beyond personalities, right? BI Preloader, Ruben and Maria aka Gigi. Not just VI preloaders, these guys are your preloader nation Southern California ambassadors. They have done everything for Anita and I. But for you guys too, because none of this happens without them. They're the ones that know Pastor Fred, so they hooked that up. Um, helped me out big time, picked us up from the airport. Gigi actually loaned me her beautiful, beautiful uh, Hyundai Santa Fe. And it's just, listen, I, if it was a hoopty, I would have been appreciative. But just a beautiful car for Anita and I to get around. Um, they this just bent over backwards, feeding us everything. I mean, they've done everything except give us a massage. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm highly appreciative of that. All right, next on my list for appreciation, Jimmy. Now we're gonna meet Jimmy. Jimmy's a preloader. I've never met Jimmy a day in my life. You see this pretty ass 2022 CVO Road Glide. He's letting me use this for today's practice session. Can you believe that, guys? And when I met him, I said, "Are you, dude? Are you serious?" I checked his temperature. <laughs> you know, gave him a cognitive test, gave him a, a coordination test. I wanted to make sure he was of sound mind. Um, I mean, this is just huge. He's going to be in the session today. He's riding a limited, um, but this is his baby. And he was like, "Yeah, sure, you can ride it." He gave me permission to scrape the bottom of the uh, footboards. He's got the Kahuna collection uh, floorboards that has a little peg down there. So, but I'm just blown away by the generosity. I really am, man. And you guys know I don't take anything for granted, but this is just huge, beautiful bike. And it's one of my favorite ones as far as the color. So the only thing going on with this bike is his clutch handle, which I'm, I'm very disappointed with um, the dealership that's been, he's, he's had this bike there three times. Not only is this thing hard as hell to pull in, but when you let it out, it sticks. So you guys know all the time, like especially if we're doing um, exercise number three, trust and believe, we go right before the friction zone. And when we pick up our foot, we open our hand so we get that quick power. Well, on this bike, when you open up your hand, you're not getting the power yet because it's sticking. And they told him that this is normal for a CVO. Because some 
I'm not even going to repeat whatever they said because it doesn't make any sense. I've owned three CBOs, two of them I still own, and ridden multiple CBOs. There's no way that that's exclusive to, it's dangerous, right? It's dangerous. Forget about the fact that your, your forearm's getting a workout because of how stiff it is, but it's, it's, you know, again, I told him when you take it back there, have them do a slow ride, have them do some slow speed maneuvers on your bike. If they haven't already known that's dangerous, it's gonna uh, lead to a drop. Let them ride slow and try to do that. There's no way, as a matter of fact, finesse the challenger, right? If you haven't seen his channel, check his channel out. On his uh, Indian challenger, his was having the same problem. It wasn't this stiff, but it was sticking, coming out. That's not something you want, that's not normal, and they need to fix it. So I told him if they don't fix it, he needs to take it to a different dealership. It's still under warranty, so anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it easy with this bike today. I, I almost feel like what I'm gonna have to do is, instead of pulling the, bike, the, the clutch in to control my speed, I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ride it like a DCT, you know, just to be safe. Just, and what that means is keeping it in the friction zone and just controlling my speed with the rear brake. But, you know, I'm a creature of habit. I've already tried to move the clutch in a little bit and be like, whoa, you know, so. Anyway, guys, look at this backdrop. Ah, that's the reason why this shot is so wide. I'm usually not this far from the camera, but I, I just had to share this with you guys. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But anyway, guys, if you're here for the first time, I already welcomed you. I just want to let you know what we do here. I do practice sessions, um, and I usually do them in Pula, Georgia, but I also travel. Um, and this is my first time doing a traveling practice session this far. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing more of these. And again, if everything lines up, again, if it wasn't for Ruben and everything they're doing, this trip, it never would have happened because it wouldn't have made sense financially. Um, but um, that's what we do here. And we do about 14 different things um, out here. And again, there's no pressure on this channel. There's no arrogance. There's no judgment. There's no negativity. None of that crap goes on. So we can come out here and we can learn um, without worrying about any other that, other that, you know, people are intimidated enough by the motorcycle. We don't need other stuff factoring into that, right? Um, this is an each one teach one environment. I will never claim to know everything. So we're all sharing knowledge and that's what makes this community uh, so great and so successful, right? We've just recently um, hit the 100,000 mark. Um, as far as subscribers go on this channel, we're actually at 101,000 now. So um, I wanna thank everybody that has subscribed. And if you watch this channel and you haven't subscribed and you know for a fact that it's helped you out or, or it's just entertaining for you to watch or whatever, or if you just want to help the cause of what's going on here, please hit the subscribe button. You only have to do it once and it's free. If you want to go a step further and become a VI preloader, right? You can click the video that I'm going to put here on the upper uh, right hand corner of your screen. It'll explain some more about that to you. Um, and you can join that group too, the exclusivity um, and the perks that VI preloaders get. All right, guys. All right, listen, let me get acclimated with this bike. I got to, I got to do some you know, this clutch thing, I gotta do some warming up, but first, let me just walk off the camera. And I want you guys to just look at these beautiful mountains behind me. You know, with the fog, it's gonna clear up, but Ruben told me, hey, wait till it clears up. I said, no, that's perfect. And here's a shot of the church. So we got good stuff going on here, guys, good stuff. All right, Southern California, I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. Let's do it. What's your name? Clyde. Where are you from, Clyde? Temecula. Temecula what? California. California? How long did it take for you to get? Oh, I forgot, I'm in California now. <laughs> 30 minutes. How long have you been riding the motorcycle? Uh, a year and three months. Okay. What are you riding today? On the go wing. The Cadillac of motorcycles, what year? 2003. All right, more importantly to me, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? One year, three months. Beautiful. If you had to give yourself a rating, one to 10, 10 being the best slow speed? Two. Two, pleasure to meet you, brother. Thanks for coming to California. Oh, absolutely, man. What's your name? Gregory Johnson. Greg, where are you from? Long Beach, California. Ah, how far is that from here? About 75 miles. Okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, better than 40 years. Beautiful, what are you riding today? 2022 Ducati Hyper Motard. Ah, yeah, you're gonna outlean all of us today. I already told him. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? About a month. Beautiful. Um, if you had to give yourself a rating, one to ten, ten being the best slow speed. We'll go, with a, we'll go with a six. Six is excellent, man. Pleasure to meet you. Nice man. meeting you. All right. What's your name? My name is Chris Reineman. Where are you from, Chris? Um, from Grand Terrace, uh, Colton area. 
California? Yep. Okay. I always say the state because there's people watching this in South Africa. They don't know. Oh. <laughs> so we oh. got to say the state. Oh. Um, I didn't used to do that until I'm like, wait a minute. People all over the world are watching this. So we're going to talk about that. Um, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Um, about three years now. What are you riding today? Uh, Electric Glide. Harley Davidson Electric Glide. What year? 2012. Okay. Um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Not enough. Okay. Not enough. Okay. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best slow speed, what would you give yourself? Oh, I couldn't even rate myself. I don't know. Five. Five. Wow. That's why I'm here. Pleasure to meet you, man. Oh, you too. All right. What is your name? My name is Gigi. And Ruben. And Ruben. Where are you guys from? Southern California. Okay. Um, and guys, this is your VI preload. The VI preload is yes, but these are your Southern California Preloader Nation ambassadors. All right. And, and man, oh man, you guys did. I, you are, I don't, know, I don't know how to use the word ambassador. And, and I don't know. Anyway, I appreciate the both of you. You're welcome. Just, we appreciate you. Just big, big, big appreciation. All right. Okay. Uh, how long have you been riding a motorcycle? Three and a half years. Ruben? Yeah, the big bikes, it's about three and a half years. Ride what do you ride? You. I ride my Street Glide, 2022 Street Glide. Okay, and before that you were riding? A uh, Honda Rebel. Yeah. Deluxe. And then the Deluxe. Yes, and this is the last time I saw Gigi, and she, I, we, I said, let's go to Holly Davidson and test ride the Street Glide. She was apprehensive. She was doubting herself, but I, this is what I always say. Sometimes I see something that you may not, um, and now she's rocking that thing. You guys will see, you'll see. <laughs> what are you riding? I'm riding a 2020 uh, Ultra Limited, but today it's kind of a convertible, so I got a Street Glide style right now. Gotcha, gotcha. How long have you guys been practicing slow speed riding? Because I know the answer is the same. Three and a half. Three and a half, and a half years. years. And these guys are serious. They do practice sessions out here. And um, I, just a, a huge asset to what's going on in Preloader Nation. A huge asset. It's not a, a surprise that you guys are ambassadors. Okay, if you had to give yourself a rating, one to ten, ten being the best, slow speed, what are you giving yourself? Five and a half, six. Maybe about the same, maybe seven, maybe. Okay, maybe seven. Okay, good. Pleasure to see you both. Thank you. I don't shake the, you guys' hands. There you go, pat my back. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Art Montez. Art, where are you from? I'm right here in Lake Elsinore. Oh, beautiful. So, what's your commute? Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. <laughs> That's outstanding. So I was outstanding. surprised when you just said Lake Elsinore, you were coming out here. I was like, yeah. Oh, you would have got your legs yeah. right around the car. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, licensed in 1985. Rode for a while. Had kids. Stopped riding. Mm -hmm. And got my Harley probably in 19, I mean, 2013. It's okay. been riding since then. Okay, okay, good. So, what are you riding today? Uh, 1998 Road Glide. So. And guys, look at this Road Glide. <laughs> Oh my God, I didn't know what it was. Actually, I didn't know what it was, but I've never seen something like this before. And it's in pristine condition, pristine condition. All right, hopefully it leaves that way. I hope today. so. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I dropped it, so. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk about the dropping thing too. Uh, yeah. um, how long have you been practicing slow speed riding? Uh, just when I'm riding, so, you know, not deliberately, just, mm -hmm. you know, when I'm out riding. Okay, good, then good. I practice. I'm yeah. glad you said that. Yeah. If you had to give yourself a rating, 1 to 10, 10 being the best, slow speed. Uh, I'm going to say 4. 4. Yeah, yeah. And I'm glad he said not deliberately because I tell you guys all the time, practicing is a state of mind. So if he's deliberately doing stuff while he's riding, he's practicing. All right? All right. Pleasure to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, Robert. All right. All right. What's your name? Jimmy Allen. Where are you from, Jimmy? Uh, Winchester, California. Nice. How long have you been riding a motorcycle? Uh, street, just one year. Okay. What are you riding today? Uh, 22 Road Glide Limited. 22. All right. Very good. How long have you had that bike? Uh, about a year. How long you had that pretty CBO? Same thing, about a year. I bought them within ah, a couple months. We beautiful, them. beautiful. I wish I had this guy's money. <laughs> okay, um, how long have you been practicing slow speed? Uh, not much at all. Okay, yeah, last night we were talking, yeah. and I asked you, I told you I wasn't going to ask you anything until we were on camera. <laughs> right. Then I said, I'm going to ask you one question. Right. What do you rate yourself? What would you say? I said a five. All right, you came out here, you did a little warming up. up. You, what do you rate yourself now? Maybe a one. Exactly. Okay, and again... This is humbling, and that's what this is all about. We'll talk about all of that yeah. stuff. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Thanks. Nice and thanks again you. for allowing me to, yep, to ride this motorcycle. It's just amazing. Oh, I appreciate it, man. All right. What's your name? Josh McHugh. You look familiar. I do. You do, too. What practice session were you in? 57. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And uh, this is a lot closer to your house now, right? Yes. 57 was in Texas. Um, and, guys, I'll be in Texas. Um, at least that's the plan. September 23rd and the 24th. Same spot in Texas. Uh, I'll be putting out a notification about it. Actually, it should be out by the time this video comes out. 
All right, had to do a little promotion in the middle. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, how long have you been riding the motorcycle? About seven years. Seven years. What are yes. you riding today? A 2018 Rogue Lion Ultra. Nice. How long have you been practicing slow speed? About five years. And this guy's serious. He practices, sending me videos of him practicing in which stadium parking lot? Uh, Angel Stadium. Angel Stadium. <laughs> Out there practicing. That's what it's all about, man. Slow speed, one to ten. What are you giving yourself rating? Well, since I sold my challenger mm -hmm. i want to give myself a two because i haven't ridden in about two months so sandbag alert are we expecting rain today because we got one sandbag at least <laughs> good to see you again brother all right all right guys we got a warm-up we got one through nine we got a bonus we got actually two bonuses we got follow the leader we got a slow race let's do it all right guys welcome to practice session number 71 I see, Ruben, you're going to be that guy. And, and, and listen, it's good. In Ohio, it was uh, Melissa. Some people are so in tune. They're so dialed in to what's going on in Preloaded Nation that when I'm here, oh, they're they, they waiting for me. We're all like that. If I'm in school and I know I study my butt off, please pick on me because I know the answer, right? And what does the teacher always do? They pick on the people that they know doesn't know the answer. All right. Anyway, I don't know who knows what, but I know what you guys know. So I mean, it's, like, it's like you're not even here when I'm asking a question. All right? I'm sorry to do it to you. Um, does anybody have a problem being on YouTube? No. Is anybody nervous? Yeah. Okay, good. And that's, that's totally normal. It's important that you know that. Again, guys, it's not a lot of grass here, so that's good. Take your egos and leave them there, right? We'll pick them up before we leave. It's funny, in Ohio, at the end, this guy said his ego was bruised. And I said to him, how is that possible? Remember, we left it on the curb. And he was like, oh, yeah. Right? So we don't got anything to prove out here. Everybody out here, it's, it's true with everything. You're your toughest critic, all right? And that whole rating thing we do, that number's for you and you only. And it's just to give you a gauge on where you think you are. And at the end of today, yes, this is a church, but I'm not expecting a miracle here. If you're struggling big time, I'm not expecting you to be doing 18 foot U-turns by the time the day's over. It's not impossible, right? Because we all learn differently. But keep in mind, an 18 foot U-turn is not necessary. It's just not necessary, all right? Nothing out here is, is set up or spec for competitions or anything like that, all right? Um, this is just to show you what you need work on, right? And like Ruben always says, you don't know what you don't know, right? So that's what we're going to do today. It's a each one teach one environment. So if something that you know or you think might be better, share it with the group. If you have a question, ask it. Because, and there's no such thing as a stupid question. Um, practice session number 70, <laughs> Giuseppe. We were doing the snowman, and I'm telling him, when you come over here, put your wheel right here, and then hug these two cones and blah, blah, blah. Question. Are you talking about the front wheel or the rear wheel? <laughs> so I said, what do you think, Giuseppe? And he said, I think I might have asked a stupid question. So <laughs> that video just came out today, as a matter of fact. Right? That was a good one. Uh, nice guy from Italy. So anyway... I want you to ask a question. Even if you think, eh, I'm not going to ask that, ask it. Because there are people watching this video that they, they wish they were here to ask that question. And they probably, it's going to be a question that somebody else would have asked. Um, also, it's important that you guys realize that this video is going to be a learning tool for you, for you to be able to look at yourself from a different perspective, um, with a clear mind, sitting down, relaxing, rather than hearing me yelling, breathe out, breathe out. And remember, if I'm yelling, I'm never yelling at you. I just need you to hear me over your motorcycle. That's all that is. Somebody watching this video all over the world, somebody's going to see themselves in you for whatever reason, right? That's why it's important to get your information from more than one source. So, you know, I can tell you I'm, I'm subscribed to uh, MC Rider. I'm subscribed to uh, Pro Rider Central Texas. I'm subscribed to Moto Jitsu. I'm subscribed to uh, Ride Like a Pro. You know, you got to watch all of these things, man, because... Somebody might say something, even if we're all saying the same things, but it could be the delivery. You know, again, we all learn different. All right. So just take take that, whatever you take, all that you put it in a big bowl. And that's what's going to help you be the boss of your motorcycle. All right. Anybody have any questions? Front brake. Now, Gigi's already set it off today. She's already did 10 push ups. And she did it on the curb, boy. She's like, mm -hmm. Right. If you grab that front brake and squeeze it, I should say. In an exercise, I'm not talking about if you're riding up this road, if you're going 15, 20 miles an hour, of course. But if you grab that front brake, it's a 10 push-up penalty. 
I don't care how you do the push-ups. They're voluntary anyway. You could do them later and send me a video of it, and it might make it to the beginning of a video. Who knows, right? The purpose of the push-ups is just to put something in your mind to get out of the habit. We're trying to break a habit, right? So the biggest obstacle you guys are going to have out here today is up here. Right? Very few, every now and then I get an email from somebody below the knee amputee, that's a physical challenge. We don't have that out here really, it's mental. So we have to get over habits and instincts. If I push one of you guys in your back, you don't have to go to a training class to teach you how to put your arms out when you're falling. It's an instinct. On a motorcycle, if you're falling, I don't have to train you to put your foot out. It's an instinct. But we have to train you not to put your foot out because it's wrong on a motorcycle. So that's why that's a big learning curve. But the only way we're going to get over that learning curve is we're going to practice. I showed these guys a video um, yesterday, but in practice session number 70, Jogo Motorcycle Adventures. He's in, this, he's in the, uh, the maze. He goes around a turn. His bike goes down, and it slides. It stops, and in about three seconds, then he put his foot down. I mean, it was the best thing I saw that whole day because it's what I'm trying to explain to people that especially if you're riding these type of motorcycles that have a footboard just first of all open up the clutch that's you know but if the bike's falling don't put your foot down. i don't want you to put your foot down today that's the number one way we get hurt on these motorcycles at slow speeds putting our feet down it's not doing anything to these motorcycles that weigh this much all right all right um if you put your foot down 10 push-up penalty and if you do one of these things that's 30 push-ups all right because you put it down three times Okay, <laughs> right? Trust and believe, and we're gonna to get to that. We're gonna to get to that, all right? Any questions about any of that? All right, five steps I want you guys to follow all day today. Before you move your motorcycle, and it doesn't include starting it, we're gonna assume the motorcycle's already running. Five steps, and I want, listen, even if you don't need to do it, just do it. We're in a controlled environment, we're in a learning environment. So when you're in a learning environment, you do things you probably wouldn't normally do. So I say, if you've already got this figured out, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. Do what you normally do. But if you're still trying to figure this out, I find most often when people have problems out here, they're not following the first five steps. What's always step number one, Chris? Keep it weathered. Um, and, and, first gear. Yeah. Yes, he got it at the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure the motorcycle's in first gear. That's the first thing we're gonna do all day. Boom, nice and easy. No Indians out here, so, well, we got one gold wing, so I'm sure your motorcycle probably shows you what gear you're in, whether you have the clutch pulled in or not, does it? Chest neutral. Chest neutral, okay, it's an older gold wing, okay. So, yeah, so all of us should be doing this anyway. How about your bike? Does it show you what gear? Yes. Okay. But do it anyway, okay. right? Because I say, I say that to people because sometimes you may not be on your bike, So, but if, you're, if it's already in your muscle memory, which is one of the biggest things we're doing as far as practicing, it's, we need to build muscle memory, right? Also, before I go into the steps, let's talk about why we're practicing. Also, we're practicing because practicing gives us options. It increases our options, right? So if you go out there and you ride, we already know most motorcycle, well, if you don't know, I'm gonna tell you, most motorcycle riders, they know how to go straight and make slight turns, and that's it. And that's why so many things don't really matter to them, like handlebars. Doesn't matter how high, doesn't matter how wide, because all they're doing is turning like this. And if they, if they have to do anything like this, they're duck walking anyway. We're not duck walking today either, right? There's no push-ups for that. But we're not duck walking today, and we'll talk about that. So, because they only know how to do that, we practice for uh-oh. When uh-oh happens, squeeze and hope for the best. That's all they know how to do, right? This stuff that we're doing out here, guys, it's relevant. It's relevant so much. Even if it's down to something simple like, okay, we're right here, or a gas station, and I say, all right, I'm going to pull out here. My brain will tell me, Pull out, make a left turn. Somebody that doesn't have any of this skill, this is not, that's not even an option. So for them, they're gonna use the whole parking lot to do something we did just like this. So that's what I mean by options. And that's why the more proficient you get at this, if you liked riding your motorcycle before, oh, pfft, you're gonna love riding it now because it's usually good to be a part of exclusivity. 2% of people are proficient on these things, right? And we're not talking about doing all of that. No, no. I call, if you look at my videos, they say advanced slow speed riding skills. Somebody asked me, what do you mean advanced? Your stuff is not, I'm like, listen, if 98% of the people could do it, I'll take away the advanced. But the fact that only 2% two, two could do it comfortably, it's advanced, it may as well be, right? All right, don't get me started guys. I go off on, I'll, I'll just keep going. 
Uh, step number two. Cover the rear brake. Cover the rear brake. Why are we covering the rear brake, Chris? Um, it helps stabilize, uh, helps you work in the friction zone. Okay, he's, he's, the answer's not wrong um, because it does, part, it does play a part in that. But initially, because we're, we're talking about before we even move, we're covering the rear brake because today, this is part of us throwing our egos on the curb, aside from Gigi, we're gonna be ballet dancers today, right? We're gonna be slow dancing today, right? They can dance with each other. You guys can dance, you know, individually. But my point is you're gonna be slow dancing with your motorcycle. Everything you do on that motorcycle at slow speeds with grace and fluidity, clutch, throttle, rear brake. When you start doing stuff abrupt, that's when you're, it's gonna be a problem, right? Uh, again, 50 miles per hour, if you have a passenger on the back and they shift, not a big deal. That power going to that rear wheel is going to keep that bike going straight. But if you're going seven miles per hour and she does that, oh, he or she, that's going to make a difference. You're going to feel that. So with that being said, we cover the rear brake because when we start moving, and sometimes we're going to be starting on that rear brake. If we need that rear brake, we're already there. So we can apply gentle pressure, right? If you have to go to it, chances are, especially if it's an uh-oh, you're going to smash at it. And that's when things don't work out, all right? So remember guys, today, gentle pressure on the rear brake. Now I know I can say a lot of things to you guys today like try not to be nervous, which is ridiculous because nervousness is an emotion. You can't just turn it off, I get that. But when it comes to that rear brake, I'm gonna tell you, try to be nice and easy on it, try. Nice and easy. So again, if you're in your car and you want the car to move forward, you lift up your foot, automatic transmission I'm talking about. You lift up your foot, car starts to move a little bit, and the more you lift your foot, the faster the car's gonna move. All right, so we know we're gonna, what's step number three? Preload and keep it loaded. So the preload is our automatic transmission. I want you guys to listen to that. Once we do that, preload, once we start opening up the clutch and the clutch starts to move, again, the clutch is like your rear brake now. The faster you open your clutch, the faster the bike's gonna move and we don't want that. So that's why step number four is slowly release the clutch into the friction zone. And then step number five is as soon as the bike moves, get that left foot up. So we're not gonna be doing this, the bike is starting to move, and you're gonna to try to keep that foot on the ground as long as possible. This is putting the foot too close to the bags too, so I don't want you doing that. Trust and believe, as soon as it starts to move, pick it up, okay? All right, step number three, preload and keep it loaded. The and keep it loaded is the most important part of the whole process. And what I find that a lot of people do is, they'll preload the throttle, and sometimes people are preloading like they're paying me for the preload, like if I go up more, I gotta give you more money, no. I want you to hear it. I think everybody's exhaust, aside from the Goldwing, is loud enough where you can hear it. So it's, re it's really not about hearing it. It's about you concentrating on and listening to it and keeping it steady, right? So the Hollies are like, glug, 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 when your throttle's low. I want your throttle steady. So if it's on an EKG machine, I want a flat line. I don't want glug, 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 flat line. That's the goal. But what happens is when people start to open up the clutch, they forget about the throttle and it starts going down and that's when you need it the most. So the first things we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna to be going straight. We're not gonna be leaning or anything like that, but that's why we gotta make sure we pay attention to that right then and there. Cause once we do start turning and leaning, that's when the bike will probably fall. If you stall going straight, no big deal. Although sometimes people would do that and still drop the bike. And that's because they have the handlebars turned. We're not stopping with the handlebars turned today either. Anytime you need to stop the motorcycle, you make sure that you're straight. Make sure the handlebars are straight, okay? All right, any questions about any of that? All right, great. First thing we're doing today, short starts and stops. See those tall cones over there? The cones are 15 feet apart. They don't have to be exactly 15 feet, but I don't want them to be far because we're gonna, right out the gate, we're gonna address what most motorcycle riders are very uncomfortable with, riding slow between one and 10 miles per hour, all right? And the reason those cones are so close is because, remember I told you we were not dark walking? So if Josh was on his bike, and I say, do me a favor, bring your bike from there to here. He's not gonna say, well, just because it's a short distance, I'm just gonna walk it. No, he's gonna follow the first five steps, he's gonna make sure he's in first gear, he's gonna cover the rear brake, he's gonna preload his throttle, and he's gonna keep it loaded. Somebody sent me an email recently saying, is preload gonna put premature wear on my clutch? Um, and my answer to him was this, I don't know what he means by premature. Anything with use is gonna wear quicker, right? That's why most motorcycle riders, the rear brake pads are like brand new because they never use the rear brake, right? 
Um, but when we preload, we're not sitting there preloaded for 20 seconds. I put steps on this because if you can't remember what to do, your brain starts to race and wander. But if you have to just follow steps, at a certain point, the steps are going to just disappear. You're just going to do it. First gear, cover the rear brake, preload. As soon as you hear it, clutch, boom, and you're on your way. Okay? All right. Again, if I tell him to come to me, he's going to follow the first five steps, preload, keep it loaded. And as soon as the bike starts to move, he's going to pick up his foot. He's going to come to me and he's going to stop. So all day today, I'm going to be looking at, not just in that exercise, all day today, I'm looking at how you take off. So that means it shouldn't be like this. And I'm looking at how you stop. Your front suspension shouldn't be, right? Your foot should be coming down like this, bing, or like this. So this has to do with a lot of things. A, it has to do with um, too much pressure on the rear brake, not enough uh, uh, clutch being given, but the main culprit is lack of coordination. Like you, we get so nervous, the same brain's controlling everything. So if I tell Ruben, stop your bike right here, he knows that's where he has to stop. So what would be the reason for that stop to be like this? Like it was a surprise. He should already be preparing for that, right? And how does he prepare for that? The friction zone. We all understand what keeps this motorcycle up at slow speed, right? Oh man, I love the friction zone, right? I live in the friction zone so much. So as long as you're in the friction zone, your bike is not going to fall if it has sufficient power to the rear wheel. That's what I'll say. Sufficient power, right? I'm guaranteeing that. It's not my opinion. Guaranteed or your money back. If you have sufficient power going to the rear wheel, the bike's not going to fall. That's why the preload is so important. But not just the preload, clutch. Because I can have the I can have my preload at 8,000 RPM, but if I got my clutch pulled all the way in, forget about it, it's going to fall. Or if I don't have it enough. So if you're making a turn out here today, or anything that you're doing, if you ever feel, uh-oh, that's the answer. If you're ever feeling, uh-oh, that's the answer. We're already preloaded. Right? It was step number three. So that's why if we're following the step. You don't have to worry about, do I have power? It's there. This is all you have to do. And fret not. Don't give up if it's going over a lot. Just open your hand up faster. Maybe even hit the throttle. You can still correct it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't give up. That's what I'll say. Trust and believe. This is the answer. Okay? But this is where practice comes in because I'm not going to... This definitely doesn't happen overnight where you feel fallen and you just do this. No. But when Joe Go went down, he said to me, what amazed him was it didn't even occur to him to put his foot down when he felt the bike falling. That's because he's practicing his butt off. He's dropped his bike several times, but it's protected. Is everybody's bike here protected? Fully? Good? Good? Oh, yeah, here's not. Okay. And here's this. Okay. Yeah, so if you want to remove your saddlebags, it's a good idea to do so. Because anything could happen. It doesn't matter how good you are. Um, all right. Any questions with that? Is everybody clear on how to come to a smooth stop on the motorcycle? A lot of us pull in the clutch and let it coast. Nothing wrong with that at all because a lot of times that works out balance-wise. But you still have to be coordinated with that rear brake. If you're doing that and then you come into a stop and you do this, again, you're not applying enough pressure to the rear brake. It's a gradual amount of pressure that you're applying, applying, applying. And if you start feeling that, uh-oh, what do you do, Chris? That's it. That's it. You don't really need more throttle. You just need to open up your hand because you're already preloaded. But you might not be because, again, if you pull the clutch in, you're fine. You don't have any preload at that point. And if you start feeling like that, go back into the friction zone just a little. You don't need a lot. We don't need speed out here. We just need power. And then, boom, coordination. Uh, guys, if you need me to demonstrate anything, let me know and I'll demonstrate it. Okay? Uh, any questions on short starts and stops? All right. So we're going to head over there. I am going to demonstrate it. Um, for the camera, we're gonna head over there. And when you guys pull up to the cones, don't let your front wheel pass the cone, all right? This is also about being situationally aware of where your motorcycle is. And you know, it, does, it never fails. I tell people, don't let the wheel pass. The cones here, they're all the way up here. I'm like, you're supposed to stop here. Oh, because another thing is, when it's time to stop our motorcycles, by the way, we should all be experts at this. Most of us have been riding for decades. So if you've been riding a motorcycle for a long time, you have to stop it. Like You have to start it and stop it. There's no way around it. I don't care what you ride. So we should be like experts at it. But like, uh, I forgot who said it. Anyway, if you don't really practice something, like you're paying attention to it, it, you know, it doesn't really count. But the beauty of this exercise is you can practice it every time you ride, every time you stop. Your goal every time you stop is to stop like this. Every now, sometimes it won't happen because we're still on two wheels, no big deal. 
So if that happens today, if you're losing your balance and you put your right foot down and you have to grab the front brake to stop the bike right there, I'm not going to say you owe me 10 push-ups. I'm not talking about something like that, right? But just know that if you do feel that and the bike is falling to the right, opening up your hand will correct that. Anytime the bike's doing something you don't want it to do, that's going to do it because it wants to always stand up and go straight with power. That's what it wants to do. And motorcycle riders love to stand up and go straight. That's why they love riding. But at slow speeds, we got to be the boys. All right? All right. Short starts and stops, guys. Head and eye straight ahead. All right, something like that. It seems so simplistic, but you'd be amazed how many people are gonna struggle with that. And it's simply because of what we talked about, not being comfortable in the friction zone, all right? When you guys are doing this, your handlebars shouldn't be straight as an arrow. If they are, you're going too fast, and I'm gonna tell you that. I wanna see this, and I want you to work it out, all right? And we'll talk about, I'm not gonna try to tell you how to do it, I wanna see what you do, and we'll work through that because there's more than one way to do it. All I care about is that you start off smooth and you stop smooth. Guys, head and eyes. Straight ahead. Don't look down. Straight ahead. Next cone, Gigi. Work it out, Gigi. Open up that clutch a little bit. Good, slow down, slow down, good, good, good. All right, stop, stop, stop. When you come to a stop, let the throttle go. All right, all right, we don't want to put too much on the clutch. Good, head and eye, straight ahead, good, good, good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, good. One more. Good job, you can go to the staging area. All right, Ruben, look at that fat front tire. I want you guys to pay attention to that too. All right. Pretty low, good. Nice and slow, no, no, no. All right, take off a little slower. You see how straight his wheel was? There we go, there we go. That's what I want to see. Good, do that again. All right, a little slower. Preload, preload. Preload, good. All right, one more. Good, good, good. Rear brake, good, good, good. One more, I lied. All right. Nice. All right, next cone. Good, look at his head and his eyes, straight ahead. Good. He's got the tips of his toes on the rear brake to ensure he's not using too much. Easy on that rear brake. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All right. Good, good. Nice. One more. Excellent. Stage. And he's, um, his head and eyes are straight ahead, his throttle's not too high, not too low. Beautiful. One time he hit the brake a little too hard, but you know, we're not robots, we're gonna make mistakes, but we make adjustments. As long as, reload, reload! Throttle's too low. Okay. Preload your throttle. Okay. As you're pulling up, your engine is shaking like this. As soon as I tell you to preload it, it stop. 
so this motorcycle is telling you based on what I hear and what you should feel. Right there, too low. Preload, preload, and keep it there. Keep it there. Slowly release the clutch, come to the next cone. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Throttle's too low. So your bike is a second away from shutting off. That's what it's warning. All that shaking, it's warning them. I'm about to shut off. Good, good, good. That throttle's still low. Okay. Reload. Reload. Keep it there. Good. One more. Reload. Easy on that rear brake. Good. One more. Head and eye. Straight ahead. Good. 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 Good job, man. But guys, I'm worried about that. Uh, I'm worried about that preload. This happens all the time. We start out here, I see it, and then by the time we get to exercise number four, that's when it rears its ugly head. Got to get in the habit of keeping that throttle up. All right, good. Head and eye straight ahead. I can already see Chris needs new handlebars. All right, take off slower. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. And you're past the cone. You see, you're still, you're taking off like this. I want you to take off like this. Nice and easy. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go. You just gotta start applying that rear brake earlier, that's all. Good. Work it out, baby. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right, you're still jutting out. Slowly release the clutch, nice and easy. Reload, reload, keep it low. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. That's what I'm talking about, Chris. Do that again. Nice, easy on that rear brake, easy. Excellent, Chris, excellent. See, he started out one way and by the time he got to the end of that, he was like a new rider. All right, Jimmy. Good, next cone. All right, see how fast you took off? Take off slower. Nice and easy. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Beautiful. Do that again. Reload. Rip. Trust and believe. Trust and believe. All right, that's 10 push ups. <laughs> Good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Nice. Reload. Good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Nice. One more. That's the best one. Good, good job. So remember guys, the braking process is not no brake and then brake. It's brake, 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 brake. Or if, you're, if, if your voice gets louder with more compression, it's brake, 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 brake. So that way at the end, it's smooth. Of course, if you do it at the last minute, it's gonna be abrupt. Like butter, baby. Next cone. Very nice. His head and his eyes are straight ahead. His throttle is steady. Head. Good, good, good. Beautiful. Good, he's working that out. Beautiful, last one. Outstanding, Greg, outstanding. Anytime his bike started to go to the side a little bit, he didn't put a foot down, he didn't panic, he just provided a little bit of power to the rear wheel. Boom, and he was good. All right, keep your head in your eyes, straight ahead, Clyde. Good, good. Nice. Nice, see his front wheel moving back and forth? Because he's not flying out, good. Outstanding. One more. Good job, man. All right. All right, guys. <laughs> when I say that this exercise is bread and butter and how important it is, you guys might think, eh, but it is, guys, and you can't get away from this. You have to stop your motorcycle. So 
Um, and as we go throughout this day, and even when you're riding your motorcycle, I want you to pay attention to what was going on here and think about how you stop. Are you stopping smooth or are you stopping abrupt? You have to practice this. All right, let's talk about it. Anybody got any questions with that? Okay, so one thing I do want to point out to you guys is when we're using that rear brake, like some of you guys, when you took off, you know, straight as an arrow, you took off abruptly. Again, that's what you're comfortable with because one to 10 miles per hour, uncomfortable riders are going to deal with that in one of two ways. They're going to introduce speed or they're going to duck walk. We check that right there because if we get, when we get to exercise number four where you have to make a 90 degree turn from a stop, that speed, that, that burst of speed is not going to help you, right? Remember, we're not leaning this motorcycle until we get to back over there, exercise number five, single serpentine. So everything we're doing is straight up. And as far as I'm concerned, um, being able to ride your motorcycle at slow speeds straight up takes more skill than doing anything leaning. Because leaning, you still have a little bit of speed or momentum to kind of help you out. Um, but when it's straight up, it's all on you, right? When you're on that rear brake, and I'm looking at your foot on the rear brake, some of you guys, I see this. And if your foot's going like this, your bike's going to go like this. Remember, you're dragging the rear brake in there. If you drag your rear brake today, very light pressure, then everything you do is smooth. So if my voice is uh, an example of the pressure that you're putting on your rear brake, I'm going to start soft, and the louder my voice gets, that means the more pressure I'm putting. So it's break, 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 break. If you break like that, you'll stop like this. But if you if you break like this, break, break, break. That's when you're gonna stop like that. It's not no break and then break. It's break, 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 break. You're breaking the whole time. Um, tell me your name again. Greg. 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 Excellent. As he's going, every time his bike goes like this. No panic, a little bit of power, rear brake, boom, put some, went to the right, same thing. And a lot of you guys that started out straight, I thought you were punking me, Chris, because he started out, he was doing that. By the time he got to the end, he was like a whole different rider, right? Guys, that exercise is so important because if you struggle, if you can't feel comfortable going 15 feet slow, everything else is going to be difficult for you, right? But once that's, once you can kind of be comfortable doing that, um, it's going to make the other stuff easy. And you're going to realize as we go today, all of these exercises build on one another. And that's why they're in the order I put them in. By the time we get to exercise number four, all of those exercises are going to be able to let you do everything else if you follow the techniques. But that's why we got to practice, right? It's also important that we know that, is anybody here aspiring to be a competition rider? No? Yes. Joshua. Or motor officer? Yes, Joshua. So it's important that you know that everything we're doing out here, even though it's not specced out for that, it's the same skills and the same techniques. The only difference is they practice it and practice it and practice it. So if we get to, for instance, when we get to the U-turn box, if you go, I got 24 feet down, Robert, I'm good. I'm just gonna, I'm not saying I'm not gonna keep practicing because it's a perishable skill, but your practicing will be to maintain your skill. And then you got people like these two, that once they get something, what's next? I want more, I wanna do more, and that's fine. There's no wrong answer, we all have different goals, right? But the main goal is to be the boss of these things, right? You, you all don't have the shirts on, but I know that's what you want, right? But if you want a shirt, it's on YouTube. All right, any questions about that? Outstanding. Next, stops and starts, all right? The difference here is now we're gonna have a little bit of speed. Now I say a little bit, this is not emergency braking. I don't need you coming to me at 50 miles an hour. You guys are gonna go all the way down here to the end. I'm giving you that space. That doesn't mean you need to speed. You're gonna to ride toward me. Go up to second gear, right? The purpose of this exercise is just to simulate you stopping like you would normally stop coming out of speed. And when we stop, what do we do at the same time? We downshift. That's the only reason I want you to go to second gear. I want you to downshift I want you to start braking, because I want you to be going about 20, 25 miles per hour. At that speed, are we just using the rear brake? No, no, because we want to stop. Front and rear brake if you want, or just front brake at 20 miles an hour would be sufficient. Brake, 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 brake. Right before you stop, right before you finish that stop, get off the front brake, rear brake 
only. The rear brake is going to smooth out that stop, right? It's going to smooth it out. But this is also about us being coordinated because now we're just adding something else in. Now, well, if you're, if you're braking with the front and the rear brake, it's not that big of a deal. All you have to do is get off the front brake and finish it with the rear brake. Now, when I say finish it, I don't mean start. I don't mean get off the front brake at 15 miles per hour. That's still too fast in my opinion, right? It's a finisher. So technically, you could, you could finish it right before you stop. That's fine, right? Off the front brake, rear brake, and same goal, I want you to stop like this. Same goal all day. That's how you stop it. Then when it's time for you to take off, just follow the first five steps, take off nice and easy. And um, I'm sorry, when you go around, I want you to come back and stop right here facing this way. Okay, Gigi? All right. All right. So, all right, you're going to be that guy today. I can already see it. All right. The good thing about Harley Davidson's is it's going to let you know in two ways if your throttle's too low. One, how it sounds. But again, a lot of times when you're out here and you're trying to focus on stuff, you're not paying that sound, no attention. That's why it's good to go back and watch the video. You'll hear it and go, ah, I see what he's talking about. Secondly, it's going to make you feel it. Now, as he's pulling up to me, I see his whole engine. Now, we already know it's shaking anyway, but it's shaking extra. It's letting you know, hey, Art, I'm about to shut off. You better do something about it, right? So when I told him to raise his RPMs preload, as soon as he did that, his engine calmed. And then as soon as we got into the exercise, right back to, and I kept asking him for it. He's going to be the guy that he's paying, like I'm paying for it, you know, preload it. And what, what ends up happening is we got time to get it together. But once we start turning and leaning, if you're still doing that, that's when we run into problems, all right? So let's make sure we pay attention to that. Any questions? All right, guys, exercise number one, stops and starts. Excellent, park over here. Beautiful. Looking good, Josh. Looking good. Very nice. Preloads are all good. Nice. Reload. See, he should be covering the rear brake. Josh, over here. I want everybody in the line. All right, good job. Could be a little smooth at the end, but we're working on it. All right, preload, park over here. All right, we ain't duck walking today, man. Good job. Good reload. Good job. Huh? Oh. <laughs> he started out not covering the rear brake. He had his foot actually off the footboard. And he said he forgot the downshift. But that's why we follow the first five steps. That's not a big deal. All right, you're just showing off now. Yeah, you starting, stopping. <laughs> Good job. All right, guys, we're going to talk about that. All right, guys, that's why I could do the same practice session for 20 years, same exercises, but with different people, you're always going to get differences, different results, different motorcycles, all right? So... Jimmy, two things. One, actually Jimmy and uh, Art. When they took off, they stopped, good stop. When it was time for them to take off, foot off the footboard, that's Jimmy. Art, foot off the rear brake. Follow the first five steps every time before you move the bike. Then uh, Jimmy told me when he stopped, he said, oh, I forgot the downshift. That's not a problem. If you follow the first five steps, you're going to be cool. 
right? Because you're always going to make sure. Oh, I forgot the downshift. And how did he know he forgot? Because he followed the first five steps. So good job, good job. And again, this is about you guys practicing on your coordination. Um, like Clyde, when Clyde came to a stop at the last minute, he's, right? That's just a coordination thing. He's not providing enough pressure on the brake. Gradual pressure, gradual, gradual, gradual. Boom. Again, I'm not stopping your bike, you are. So you know when it's going to stop. It's just a matter of working it out. Any questions on that? Oh man, beautiful. We can fly right along here. All right, guys, exercise number two, the slow ride. Now the slow ride, another important exercise as far as I'm concerned, and it kind of incorporates what we did when we first started. But when we first started, I had you start and stop. But now you're going to continue the ride. I'm going to walk. You're going to ride at my walking pace. You're not going to pass me. You're going to keep your head in your eyes straight ahead. Now, three ways you can do this. Some of you guys are already doing it. You can preload your throttle, slowly release the clutch, and once your bike starts moving, you can pull the clutch in. Just kind of let it coast. And as soon as you feel like you need power, give it a little bit, pull it back in. You can do it, but you're still covering the rear brake whether you're using it or not, right? You have to get in the habit of doing that. Or slowly release the clutch, and as soon as you go to take off, already be on the rear brake. Let that control your speed. Or incorporate both, right? Remember, the boss of being your motorcycle is knowing what to do, when to do it, and how to do it based on what you feel. This is a feel thing. There's a lot of finesse that goes on, goes along with riding a motorcycle. Right? But a lot of people don't know that, and that's why they don't know what they're doing, and that's why they're intimidated. We all fear what we don't know and what we don't understand. And when your bike starts feeling like, oh, crap, and you don't know what to do, yeah, that's a scary feeling, right? But that's not going to be us. Any questions? All right, you guys are going to go back where you were, and you're going to ride toward me. I'm going to be right here at this first cone. Ride at a normal speed. We're just going to practice you coming to a stop again. You don't have to worry about shifting unless you want to. And then once you stop, I'm going to say, ready? And then we're going to go for a walk. We're not going to do it long. And once I'm finished with you, come back around, park right back here where you are. Questions? Let's do it. All right. Ready? All right, let's do it. Good. Come to a smooth stop. Good job. You park over here. All right, ready? Let's do it. So when he stopped, barely any compression in his front fork. That's beautiful. Slow down. Good. Come to a smooth stop. Beautiful. So far. Just beautiful. It, I mean, just perfect. You couldn't do it any better. That fork barely moved, stopping and starting. All right, ready? Let's do it. Come to a smooth stop. Do it again. Smooth stop. Good job. Greg is looking really good on this bike. All right, Greg, ready? Let's do it. We might have a slow speed champion here. Come to a smooth stop. Outstanding, Greg, outstanding. Thank you for your service. You ready? Let's do it. Reload. Easy on that rear brake. Come to a smooth stop. All right, let's try it again. Cover that rear brake. Cover that rear brake. Come to a smooth stop. All right, go back, let's do it again. See right now, he's not trusting and believing, he's not covering the rear brake. And every time he feels falling, foot down. And that's one of those instances where, when I feel falling, time to stop. No, we're the boss. Okay, ready? All right, let's do it. Clive was coming at me, baby, coming at me. 
Good. Good. Come to a smooth stop. Nice and easy. Don't stop with the handlebars turned. Good job. You can park. Good job. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Good. 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 Don't pass me. He's passing me. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Smooth stop. Now see right there, when you start moving and all of a sudden your bike goes like this, because yeah. you're going like that with your foot. Okay. Just drag it. Okay. Good job. Like butter, baby. All right, let's do it. 10, 20 push-ups. Okay. Keep it loaded, baby. Good, good, good. Every time you feel like you're going to fall, just open up that clutch a little bit. Come to a smooth stop. See, you're not covering the rear brake. See, and that's the result. Wow. All right, do it again. He's not covering the rear brake. And then when I say, all right, it's time to stop, I see his foot come off. Boom, smash. That's why we cover it. Nice. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Reload. Keep it loaded. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Smooth stop. Much better stop. All right. Good job. I don't like it. It's too low. I want that. It's still. Brrr, I want. I want it like. Mm, I want it to sound like a a gold wing. Well, not the sound, but the steadiness of it. Easy. Easy. All right, ready? Cover that rear brake. That's 20 push-ups. We're up to 40. Don't worry about it. Gigi's going to do it for you. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right, you can go park. All right, guys, we're going to talk about it. All right, so I want to be clear about something. Jimmy, when I say, and I notice Jimmy keeps taking his foot off of the rear brake. When I say cover the rear brake, another benefit of a Harley Davidson is cover it means put your foot on it. I'm not telling you to put pressure on it. You can rest your foot on the brake pedal and it won't apply the brakes. But I need you to rest it on there. Keep it on there. Right? All right, same thing. Keep it on there because... Um, and uh, I forget which one of you guys did. Oh, it was Chris. His foot was off the brake. I said, okay, come to a smooth stop. Because his foot's not on it already, it's hard to gauge pressure putting your foot on it, right? Keep your foot on it. Again, it's gradual, gradual. So when I say come to it, that's why I say come to a smooth stop. It's not an emergency. Work it out. Boom. Jimmy, right now what you're dealing with is the friction zone and not being able to connect that feeling of falling with the friction zone. And that's why we do this. That's why this is so important. Because what a lot of motorcycles do, motorcycle riders do is, when they're stopping their motorcycle, as soon as they feel falling, that equals it's time to stop. I feel falling, uh oh. And that's why you see that abrupt stop. When really, no, that's you letting the motorcycle be the boss. But no, I'm gonna stop when I'm ready to stop. So if I feel falling, remember this too. We're always gauging this on what we feel. Like I said, it's a finesse thing. As soon as you feel the uncomfortableness, if you correct it right away, it's a small amount of movement. It's a small amount of movement if you correct it as soon as you feel it. The longer you wait, the more movement you're gonna have to do, right? Still not a big deal. I'm not saying if you wait long, pop it. You just have to open the hand more, all right? But keep in mind, that's all we're doing as we're going straight. Anytime we feel falling, we correct it and we use the rear brake to control it. So we're not going too fast. So a couple of you guys were like, you the guy I paid $350 to? Coming right at you, buddy. And I'm, we're doing a slow ride, you're coming at me. I'm like, you're supposed to be going that way. In that moment, you're not realizing that you're letting the bike do what it wants to do. If you power it, it always wants to go straight. So if you ever feel it doing what you don't want it to do, the, what that equals is not, you're not in the friction zone enough. So you were in the friction zone, but not enough. So anytime you feel falling, like sometimes I'll go to make a turn and I'll lean the bike over. And if I'm in the friction zone, 
I, but I still feel the bike falling. I know I'm not in the friction zone enough for that lean. So I open the clutch up a little bit more. Not a lot, because I don't want to be all the way up. I want to stay where I am. And then I can just stay in that turn as long as I stay in the friction zone. If I pull the clutch in some, it's going to go down. Up, down, up. Okay? Anytime you feel uncomfortable. Guys, I don't care if you hit a cone today. I do care if you run into a pillar. Right? If you run into one of these light poles, you did it on purpose. That's all I'm going to say. Right? But I don't care about the cones. Right? Don't stare at the cones, guys, when we get to them. We're not even at the cones yet, really. All right? Peripheral vision will pick up the cones. In other words, I don't want you being distracted by them. I'm going to hit a cone, so I'm going to grab something. No. Just run over the cone. It's fine. All right? Any questions on that? Beautiful. All right. Um, is everybody here familiar with trust and believe? This is good. All right. Do we all trust and believe that as long as you provide sufficient power to the rear wheel, the motorcycle is not going to fall? Does anybody not trust and believe that? All right. Some of you are full of shit. And I'm going to tell you why, because I understand that people think I'm asking them if they know what trust and believe is. I know you know what it is. I know you know the concept. I know you understand the tech. I know you understand it all. But do you trust it? We'll see. Right? We'll see. Right? And that's what this exercise is all about. This exercise is about the reprogramming of your brain. Remember before I said I don't have to train you to put your foot out? Well, I do have to train you not to put your foot out. And that's what trust and believe is all about. Now, this is going to be scarier for me today because Jimmy's clutch is sticky. And when we do this exercise, we need that clutch. We need that power. I'm going to work it out, though. All right. Five steps to this exercise, guys. Five steps. Step number one. Always step number one. Make sure it's in first gear. Two, we're going to cover the rear brake. Cover it. That means keep your foot on it. Step number three. Preload the throttle art and keep it loaded. Right? This is when it's most important, right? It's not a huge deal. If something goes wrong, it's just a tip over, right? Step four, bring the clutch. Now we do, we're not slowly releasing the clutch now into the friction zone. I want you to bring the clutch right before the friction zone. So when you're sitting there preloaded, I want you to start opening your clutch. When you feel it bite, pull it back in just a little, not a lot. I need you right before it. If your motorcycle is bogging down like this, I know that you're in the friction zone holding it with the rear brake with the rear brake i don't want that at all today guys your rear brake and your throttle work together in harmony don't make them fight if the bike is bogging down like that you're making them fight that's when your clutch is going to start having issues right that's when you you're, you're causing unnecessary wear on the clutch don't make it fight i don't want the bike in the friction zone i can't stress that enough step number five pick up your left foot now guys Sometimes I get people here preloading, clutch, and they're sitting there for 20 seconds, just preloaded. I understand they're trying to get ready mentally. It's not that serious. The goal of this exercise is not to see how long you can, once you pick up your foot, you can balance the bike. That's not the goal. The goal is as soon as you feel the bike starting to fall, open up your hand. Because we, we already talked about that's going to correct falling, right? Guarantee to your money back. That's the goal. I don't want your bike moving at all before you pick up your foot, right? Pick up your foot, trust and believe. I also don't want you to just pick up your foot and open the clutch. I need you to feel it. Remember before I was talking about how a feeling is something you can't just turn off? This is why you remember your happiest time, your, the time that made you the saddest, the maddest, because there's an emotion tied to it. So I need you to feel falling because if you feel it, now we can start associating this with that feeling. Not this. And it's going to come at times. I see people riding and they go like this. They started to put their foot out in the exercise and they didn't. That's the process happening right there. They're fighting that instinct and winning that battle. Okay? Because that's how we get hurt. Any questions? I'm going to demonstrate it. This is going to be the scariest one I ever did, Jimmy. <laughs> and I usually do it right in front of people. I'm not doing that. Okay. Also... Once you guys do this exercise, once you pick up your foot and you start to move, I want you to come to a smooth stop. There's three C's in preload nation. What are they, Gigi? Help her out. Help her out. Confidence. Confidence. Confidence is always number one because everything follows that. Confidence, control, 
and consistency. I need you to be in control of your motorcycle all day today. All day. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see my... No. I'm going to do it facing this way so you can see my foot come up. Straighten out. Friction zone, friction zone, rear brake. All right. We don't start with the handlebars turn. Make sure I'm in first gear. Covering the rear brake, but I'm applying it. Reload. Clutch. All right. Right before it. Head and eye straight ahead. Pick up my foot. Smooth stop. It's, it's really not a lot going on, right? But people get up here and you would think the motorcycle was on a cliff. Like, they, you know, as soon as you feel it, you don't have to wait long. But again, even if you decide to count to five Mississippi, you can still correct it. Okay, the only thing is it's gonna go that way. It's gonna straighten out, smooth stop, boom. Right, remember guys, it's not an emergency stop. Just come to a smooth stop. Okay? Now, I don't mean use the whole damn parking lot to come to a stop, but you know, you get it. Any questions? I got something I can add if you don't mind. Yes, I don't mind at all. As soon as you said it earlier, but I emphasize Thank you for your input. All right, guys. So, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. As soon as the bike stands up, you know, the exercise is over. It's that simple. You don't need a lot of room to practice this anywhere you can do it. As soon as the bike stands up, you know, I tell people, come to a stop do it again do it again the exercise can be five ten feet it doesn't have to be long because as soon as you stand it up the exercise is over start over again. did you guys all hear him the shortest exercise yet. one thing i am going to correct that he said he said you could do it anywhere i don't want you doing this anywhere the other stuff we did you could practice that anywhere but this i want you to be in a controlled environment okay a controlled environment any questions any other questions thank you ruben all right guys exercise number three trust and believe Good. All right, shut it off. Okay, now did you see that when she was stopping, she stopped and then her foot ended up behind her? Again, that's a coordination thing. She's putting down her foot before the bike is ready to stop. The same brain's controlling both feet. So we should know one foot should be applying the pressure while the other one's coming down. We're not gonna put our foot down just because we're coming to a stop and the bike is telling us time to stop. No, we're gonna say when it's time to stop. Friction zone, friction zone, rear brake, rear brake, boom. All right, you ready? Come to a stop. Do that again. You, I want you to let it fall a little bit. Stop. Do it again. That time you were moving before you picked up your foot. Trust and believe, Gigi. Stop. Do it again. So you're not letting the bike fall. As soon as you're picking up your foot, you're going. Trust and believe. There you go. There you go. Stop. That's what I'm talking about. Go over to the trailer, Gigi. To the trailer. Go to the trailer. The last one she did was beautiful. Where you going, guy? All right. Ready? Let's do it, man. Oh, stop it. Woo! Excellent, excellent. Go park. That's exactly what I want. Just like that. Trust and believe. Come on, Josh. I'm out done. All right. Do it. Reload. Nice. Give me another one. Nice. All right, good job, man. All right, when you guys come out, I just want you to come straight out. Don't do a loop, just come straight out. All right, ready? You got the concept down? Press gear, yes, covering the rear brake. Ha, ha, ha. Do that again, that was nice. Excellent. Good job, Greg, just excellent.
Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. Make sure you straighten out those handlebars before you stop. All right. Ready? First gear. Covering the rear brake. Preload. Keep it there. Reload. Reload. Hold it there. Clutch right before the friction zone. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. As soon as you're ready, pick up that foot. Don't let that bike move. Good. Let it out. Let it out. Good, good. Rip. Stop, stop. Come around, do it again. Broken clock is right twice a day. Don't stop at those bars turn, Claude. All right. You got the concept down? Motorcycle in first gear. Covering the rear brake, yes. Preload that throttle. Keep it there. Clutch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up that left foot. Don't let the bike move at all. Trust and believe. Yeah, pick it up. Let it out. Good. Good. Come to a smooth stop. Straighten out. Good. Let's do it again. That was good. Good. Foot up. Come to a smooth stop. Good job, Clyde. Go park by the trailer. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Keep it loaded. Good. All right. Same thing. Preload that throttle. Keep it loaded. Slowly release that clutch. No, I'm sorry. Clutch right before the friction zone. Give me some more preload. It's too low. Good. Keep it right there. Pick up that foot. Don't let the bike move at all. You feel falling? Open up that hand. Open it up. Open it up. Come to a stop. All right. You can go park. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Yep, see? Now if you're dragging that brake coming around, that stop is nice and easy. Okay. You did a momentum thing coming around. I don't want you to do that, I want you nice and easy. Stay in the friction zone. Got it. All right, first gear? Yep. Covering the rear brake? The there we go. Preload? Keep it right there. Push right, before. good. When you're ready, don't let the bike move. Pick up that foot. Yeah, see? So instead of putting your foot down, so open up the clutch. Head and eye, straight ahead. Good, preload's good, preload's good. Keep it loaded, listen to that sound. Come to a stop. I right, do that again, you were moving before the bike, you know, before you picked up your foot, you were moving. Good, 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 let it out. Oh, that was it, right there. Right, Try it again. Trust to believe, Chris. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Now, I wanted you to come to a smooth stop, but I'll take it. The only reason you were still going like this, you just weren't in the friction zone enough. Okay. So if you feel like you're still like that, just open it up. It's going to stand up quicker so you can come to a stop. Okay. All right? Good job, man. Jimmy, go that way and come back. First gear. All right, covering the rear brake. Preload. All right, straight ahead. Look. Keep that preload up. Clutch right before the friction zone. When you're ready, pick up this foot. Don't let this bike move an inch. You feel full and open up that clutch. Keep it loaded. Listen to that sound. Hold it there. Pick up that foot. Come to a stop. Nice and easy. Remember, nice and easy stop. All right, let's do that again. That was good. Good. Keep the preload up. Good. Pick up the foot. Open it up. Open it up. Stop. That's what I'm talking about, Jimmy. All right, guys. Great job. We're going to move on to everybody's favorite right turns, left turns from a stop. I love it because Ruben lost his mind. He thought he was going first. Gigi drove by and was like, uh-uh. Good. Good. All right, guys. Trust and believe actually went better than I thought it was gonna, gonna go, right? And again, that feeling that you are feeling like, oh, that apprehensive feeling of picking up your foot, that's the same feeling that you might get when you're in the middle of a turn. Not even, it doesn't have to be anything extreme. Last practice session, somebody said to me, when is that 
actually applicable out there in the real world. I said, more times than you think. Anytime you put your foot down, that's when you should have been doing that, right? Um, so that's something I definitely want you to practice because again, the only way you're gonna get that muscle memory built up, you gotta practice it, all right? Any questions on that? Outstanding. Exercise number four, guys, right turns, left turns from a stop, and I'm looking, I'm gonna I'm say this is, Ruben is my number one suspect. I see a skid mark here. And I only say that because he did it over there too, right? Easy on that rear brake, right? There's no reason to be skidding out here at all. It really isn't. We're going one to 10 miles an hour. Um, this exercise, guys, has the highest failure rate, right? And it's not, it, it, it's simply because everything that we've done so far, guys, is applicable here. As you're approaching this turn, that's exercise number two. You guys look pretty good at that. People get freaked out when it's time to turn the handlebars. I want you to know nothing changes. Nothing changes, because we already know. That's why we did all of that other stuff before we got here. That's why in exercise number three, I made you turn to come to me. I'm already evaluating what I'm dealing with. Nobody looks crazy, but they see these cones and then they lose it. So again, I don't want you staring at the cones, okay? If we're gonna make our left turn, I want you to keep your head in your eyes, looking down there. Don't look here, look there. Same thing going right. Like I said, if you're approaching, you're, in, you're doing exercise number two. Whatever speed you're at, wherever you are in the friction zone, stay there. Because we complicate things. We start switching stuff around. Wherever you are in the friction zone, stay there, right? Because if you're approaching and your speed is appropriate, you don't have to mess with this anymore, right? We're always covering the rear brake. Remember, the rear brake is the corrector. Sometimes we might be going a little bit too fast. You don't even have to mess with this. Just give a little bit of pressure on that rear brake. Head and eyes, turn the handlebars. Remember, the bike wants to move forward with power. So if you turn the wheels, I'm sorry, if you turn the handlebars, you don't have to do anything else. Just keep them turned. It'll keep going. We're not leaning, right? So if you guys come in here and you lean, I'm going to call you on it. I don't want leaning. I want the bike straight up. When you make this turn, straight up. Now, what people have a tendency to do in here is two things. One, they'll lean, and I'll tell them you're going too fast because everything we're doing out here, guys, your speed's between 6 and 10 miles per hour, except this exercise. This is like between one and two, 2.5 at the most, right? Because try to lean your motorcycle going two miles per hour. It's gonna fall. That's why I know you're going too fast if you're leaning. And that's why I put these nice high cones here because people were leaning all the time and cones, the cones are getting cleared by the bag because it was the little cones. The other thing people do is they turn too late. So guys would come in here and they don't start turning until they're about right here. If you get this deep into the turn, now you have to lean. Uh, Hey, Greg, what three things determine the radius of our turn on the motorcycle? Give me one. Speed. That's right. I'm glad he said speed first because it's the number one contributing factor to failure in this exercise, but also to accidents out there in the real world riding at speed. Too much speed in a turn is going to always take you wide. And if you're in a turn in the twisties and you're going at a good clip of speed and you see you kind of fail to negotiate it properly and you need to slow down, how are you going to do that, Jimmy? Say it again? No, we're not going to straighten out because we're in a turn. Oh. How are we going to slow down so we can tighten that turn? Uh, no, we're going to trail brake. You have to use that front brake, gradually squeeze it, hold it. Just by doing that, it's going to pull you in, right? Now, Jimmy said pulling the clutch. I'm glad he said that because, listen, there are times when pulling in the clutch is appropriate, and then there are times when you need rear brake. So when you're making this turn, you may not have to use your rear brake at all. You could just be messing with the clutch. But if you're in an exercise like this where you're leaned over, if you, see, if you feel like, uh oh, I'm going a little bit too fast, you might not just, because if you just pull in the clutch, you take power away from the rear wheel and it's still gonna take time to slow down, but you might need to slow down right away. So that's why you give a little bit of pressure in that instance. So this is what I mean when I say, depending on what's going on, you do what you need to do, all right? Give me, somebody else give me one. Lean angle, that's gonna also determine the radius of the turn. The more you lean, tighter the turn. One more art? Exactly, how much you turn the handlebars. So, when you guys come in here, don't wait until you're right here to start turning the handlebars, unless you're just trying to make it, you know, more challenging for yourself. Start turning early, but not so early that your bags are hitting this cone, okay? And listen, this is not a competition. I'm gonna have you guys, shoot. So that's the downfall of putting this here, because usually, eh, it doesn't matter, I'll work it out. I'm gonna have you guys go straight through the first time. I don't want you to stop, I don't want you to lean, 
straight through. And when you go through, I guess you guys are just gonna have to go all the way around, come back through here, which is fine. It's enough of us where it's not gonna be a holdup. Then I'm gonna have you guys come to a stop. Now when I do this exercise, I stop right in the middle and right on this line. But this is not a competition. If you're not comfortable doing that, I'm allowing you to stop anywhere within this box. So if you wanna have your front wheels back here, that's fine. If you wanna be over here, that's fine. The more you practice this, the more comfortable you get. You're going to realize you don't need to be all the way over here. You're not pulling a trailer. You don't need to be all the way back here. You're fine. Coming from a stop, that initial takeoff, that's what people are uncomfortable with. But that's why we did short starts and stops first. I want you to do it the same way. Follow the first five steps. And when you open up that clutch, you're already preloaded. Slowly release it. Once it starts to move, pick up your foot and just trust. It's going to be okay because you hear the power. You got it preloaded. If you ever feel anything, oh, a little bit of power. Now, if you give it too much power and you go out that way into my cones, I don't care. Just don't put a foot down. Okay? Don't put a foot down. So, again, yes, I'm going to have you stop. And then I'm going to have you stop, make the turn, and stop. Again, now we're, we're dealing with the whole I want you to be in control all the time. So, when you get here and you got to stop, don't stop with the handlebars turn. Again, just because you feel, uh-oh, it doesn't mean it's time to stop. Work that out. Go back into the friction zone. Straighten out those handlebars. Smooth stop, all right? And ideally, guys, you wanna make this turn and be kinda of in the middle of this lane, ideally. If you're over here, that's fine. I want you to envision this as a double yellow line, track the trailers are coming in this direction, and they're right on the line. So we don't wanna be on the line, all right? Any questions? All right, I'm gonna run through it. I'm gonna do it all three ways. I'm gonna go straight through, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna stop, and then I'm gonna come back and stop and stop. But when I stop and stop, I want all you guys to be on this side. And I want you to look at my foot on the rear brake. And you're gonna barely see it moving, if at all. Because from the time the motorcycle starts to move, I'm not, only, I'm not just covering the rear brake, I'm applying it. This is the same instance as what I talked to you about earlier, where if, you're, if you want your car to move, but you don't want it to move too fast, you just let off the brake a little bit. That's what I'm doing when I start. I'm on the brake a little bit, but it's giving me control. Remember, your rear brake, and the power to the rear wheel, it makes the motorcycle rigid. It makes it want to stand up. You know, without it, it feels like this. And we don't like the way that feels. All right. I hope you guys got water in your bags, but I'm doing all the damn talking. Mm. Mm. Joshua got his beautiful family here. I love it. They said, we ain't coming with your ass to Texas, but we'll come here. Start turning, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Straighten out. All right, let me try to work this out. So as I was coming through there just now, right, I'm going to make this turn, and basically what I did right there, I'm doing exercise number two, I'm riding slow, and when I went to make that turn, I had to actually bring the bike kind of like to a stop. And in that moment, that's exercise number three. As soon as I felt it starting to fall, I didn't wait long. As soon as I felt it, a little bit of power to correct it. Of course, this thing is sticking, so, you know, it's making me work harder, but that's the beauty of, again, tools in the tool belt, so I can get on the bike. We had a DCT guy here, practice session number 70, I want you guys to watch that. All the rules are different on the DCT. Um, and that's why I said to Jimmy, I'm gonna have to ride his bike kind of like a DCT. And I was like, well, what does that mean? It means that because the clutch is sticking, once I'm in the friction zone, I gotta kind of just stay there and just use the rear brake to control my speed. I can't even, I'm not, I don't trust this enough to use it. Although I've still been using it, I can't, I can't help it. All right? Um, all right, let me make a turn to the right. I want you to watch my foot on the rear brake. I gotta try to get it in here, hold on. Now, if you ride a road glide, I already know. You have no clue where the front wheel is. So that's something you got to get used to.
All right, watch my foot. I'm dragging it, dragging it, dragging it. Right, you don't see this because then the bike's gonna be going like this, right? Dude, I can't even see the high cones with this. What a ridiculous fairing, but it's a beautiful bike. Any questions? All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put her in the shade. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Can you have lunch? We're going to take a break after this exercise. 3.5 minutes. <laughs> oh, by the way, if you care to know, this is seven and a half feet wide. It's plenty wide, right? So don't overthink it. If you turn your head and your eyes and you keep that power going to the rear wheel, you're going to be fine. Fine. You don't need to lean the motorcycle. If you do feel a bike falling, that's the answer, okay? Now, I exaggerated that. You don't have to go that slow to do it. I always go a little bit slower because I want you to kind of pay attention, listen to my throttle, hear that it's steady, and see that the bike's not doing any of this. I'm dragging the rear brake. I find the spot, and we're going to talk about that all day. Find the spot where everything seems to be moving smoothly and just keep it there. Concentrate on keeping it there. Throttle, clutch, rear brake. Just keep it there, all right? When we start trying to change stuff in the middle of doing stuff, that's when it doesn't feel good, and that's when we have results of drops. You ready, G to the G? Nice, GG. Very nice, beautiful. Good catch, man, good catch. Because he came in there, he was going way too fast. I'm telling you, he's the one that put that skid mark down there. Nice, Josh. Nice. Show him how it's done, Art. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Head and eyes. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. 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 Good job. Good job. Beautiful, Greg. Beautiful. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Leaning forward. Got his. He's grabbing the, the, uh, the body of the bike with his legs. Good, head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. Good job, baby, good job. And he would benefit from some new bars. Nice and easy, slow down, slow down. Good, head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Good job, man, good job. Kind of like a motorcycle, baby. Good, head and eyes, Clyde, look at my camera, keep looking at it, keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. There we go, trust and believe, Clyde. That's what I'm talking about, do it again. Do it again. That was beautiful, Clyde had a trust and believe moment right there. Nice, Gigi. You're leaning, I don't want leaning. Too much speed. There we go, that's what I want, straight up. If you go too fast, you're gonna lean. Good job. Preload, preload. Good, rear brake, rear brake. Head and eyes, look up, look up. Keep it loaded, good job, Clyde. I still want more throttle. Good, 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 look at the camera, say cheese. Outstanding, man, outstanding. Guys are looking good, man. Good, good. Head and eyes. Look at the camera. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There we go. Work it out, baby. Good, good. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. There we go. Trust and believe. Foot came out, but it didn't go down. Good, good, good. Outstanding, Clyde. Outstanding. Stop wherever you want. All right, left turn. Keep going.
Nice, Gigi. All right. Head, head and eyes, head and eyes. Nice. I see how they have a burst of speed coming out. That's why I added the stop over there. All right. And I'm giving him more of a challenge because he's got different goals. He's trying to be a motor officer. Good job. <laughs> You're all doing really well. Stop wherever you want. All right, nothing changes, man. Once that bike starts moving, keep it loaded, turn your head and your eyes, rear brake. Head nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. 10 push ups. <laughs> All right. All right, he did what he had to do. That's because he picked up his foot abruptly, so he threw the motorcycle to the right. That's all that was. You're looking good. You'll be even better with higher bars, because these bars are low for you. Yeah, they're uncomfortable. Yeah, of course. All right. So, can I start off looking straight towards the camera? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Like, right before you're going to turn your handlebars, right before. Because, okay. like, if you're moving, I don't want you looking like this while you're going straight. You look straight, and before you commit to a turn or a lean, turn your head and your eyes. And go for it. Head and eyes, good. All right. He introduced speed, but he didn't lean a lot. He was on that rear brake. We don't duck walk, one foot or two, man. All right, you're looking good, man. Head and eyes. Good, keep it loaded. Too much speed, too much speed. And he's turning early, he's hitting this inside cone. All right, Clyde, that was that was beautiful, man. That trust and believe, that's trust and believe in the real world, baby. Left turn, head nice. Good, start turning, start turning. Yeah, he started turning late. There you go, there you go. So he's riding a gold wing. The gold wing, the handlebars are not going to turn as much as, let's say, these Hawleys. So he's got to start turning earlier. So all he did there, he didn't turn early enough. Come to a stop, Gigi. Turn it, turn it, baby. Good. Straighten out, straighten out. Smooth stop. Beautiful. All right. Right turns next. Come to a stop. Good job. All right, come to a stop. There you go, let it fall. Come to a stop. Good job. All right, you're coming to a stop over here now. Looking good. Reload. Good. Head and eyes, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Turn it early, yeah. Look at you working it out. Come to a stop. Excellent, Art, excellent. So I'm work that out, especially with those handlebars, those wheelbarrow type handlebars. I need you in the box, somewhere in the box. There we go, somewhere in this box. All right, come to a stop over here. Outstanding. All right, you're coming to a stop over here. Head nice. Outstanding, man. Outstanding. All right, coming to a stop. You're turning early, Jimmy. Don't turn early. Right now, turn it. Turn it. Keep it loaded. Head and eyes. Look at the camera. You're looking at those cones. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's the only reason. That was good, though. Good. All right, come to a stop, Claude. All right. Ten push-ups. Good job.
And she got the signal light on. Nice, Gigi. That nice. There we go. That's how I want it to look, baby. Nice. Good job. Preload, 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 preload. We're not stopping. Straight through. Oh. Straight through. Preload, preload, preload. The whole engine is shaking. Yeah, keep it right there. Keep it there. Don't lean, don't lean. Put that foot up. Get that foot up. Open the clutch. There you go. Start it out. That was almost a bad ending. Because when he put his foot down, it came down on the cone. So that's a lot of weight on the motorcycle without sure footing on the ground. All right, Greg's just showing off now. <laughs> Good, rear brake, rear brake, don't lean it, don't lean it. Straight up. Good, straight up, slow down, slow down, head and eyes, turn the handlebars, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go. Good job. And they got the concept already. That's why this is looking so smooth. When they're feeling, uh-oh, you know, you're really seeing the foot down. Turn that, baby. Turn it. Turn it. There you go. You got to turn that thing all the way. Good job. He's leaning a little bit. I'll give it to him. Good job. Too much speed. <laughs> I don't know why Ruben keeps coming in here all fast. He knows better. He's going about three and a half miles an hour. Good job, man. I don't want that. Good. Keep it loaded. Don't lean it. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. All right. Good job. He's introducing a little bit of speed. I don't, I don't want that, but he's looking good. All right, next time Greg comes through here, I want him in the middle because he's just turning slow and late. That's what I mean. He's all the way out there. Good. Turn it, turn it, turn it. You're leaning. I don't want lean. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on. No. Come on. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Turn it, turn it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. All right. Still with some lean. Good. Stay at that speed. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Start turning. Start turning. Start turning. You're good. You're good. You're good. There we go, Clyde. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Stay at that speed. Head and eyes. Turn, turn. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Outstanding. This is outstanding. You guys are looking really well. So much so that I'm going to turn it up a notch on a few of you guys. Okay, Josh, Greg, I want you guys in the middle of this lane. I don't want you, all, you shouldn't be all the way on the outside. Especially you, Greg, because what you're doing is you're barely turning. That's the only reason you're all the way out there. Actually, Chris, you too. You're turning, but barely turning. Now, I know your handlebars are like this, so it's not comfortable to really turn. And Jimmy, you too. I mean, all of you guys have the The Goldwing is the only guy that's got to, he's really got to turn early because his handlebars don't turn as much as ours. I'm saying ours. As the Hollies, right? But if you watch your speed, Ruben, I'm ready to give you like 10 demerits. I don't know why you're coming in here going so fast. You know better, right? And that's why you're leaning. <laughs> he's stupid. He's ducking down. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we're going to do it now from a stop. Um, Joshua, Greg, when you guys get up here, we're going to have a little conversation about where you're going to do this room. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to stop and then go straight through. But you guys are looking outstanding. Outstanding. I mean, outstanding. California being represented, baby, I'm telling you. Look at you all the way up here. Are your rights better than your left? Yeah, you did say that. Because on your left, you were back here starting. Okay. Head and eyes, Gigi. Look at that camera. Keep it loaded. Good. Beautiful, Gigi. Beautiful. All right.
Good job, man. Right in the middle. All right. I want you in the middle. Straight up. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Let's start it over. Once you went out that far, it wasn't going to happen without leaning anyway. Good, 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 good. That's a balance thing, that's all. Yeah, I know. There we go. Easy on that rear brake. And that's where that happened. The rear brake. Nice and easy. That happens. Start with the handlebars already turned that way. You don't have to fully lock them. There we go. Just like that. Yeah, keep them turned. There we go. Keep it turned straight up. Good, good. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. Keep it turned. There you go. Right in the middle. We're not stopping yet. <laughs> Greg, I want you right here. No, I'm just kidding. Right here. I want you right in the middle. Turn those handlebars. Right in the middle. That ain't gonna happen. You started up. Yeah. You went out into it too much. That's good though. Good job. All right. Head and eyes. I need to stop on this one or just no, straight through. Okay. All right, and so right there. Yeah, you can keep backing up. You actually turned your head and your eyes when you're already in the turn. Okay. You want to turn your head and your eyes before you even come in here. Because if you turn your head and your eyes and you see a truck coming, no head, no, it's not going to be a handlebars. It's going to be a rear brake. Okay. So that's why you want to look before you commit. Okay. All right, try it again. Head and eyes, good. Keep looking at the camera. Go for it. Good job. So he's still going out too far. That's the only reason he's that, that deep. All right, looking good. Head and eyes, look at that camera. Keep looking at the camera, don't look away. Good, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. You're leaning, I don't want lean. Speed, you're giving me speed. All right, Claude, let's do that again. Straight through. Good, good. That's okay, it's a balance thing, that's all that is. Good, start turning, start turning, start turning. Turn it all the way, keep it loaded. 10 push-ups, good job. All right, straight through. Reload. Keep it there. Let's do it. Keep it loaded. See it shaking? Good, good. Rear brake, rear brake. Turn, turn. Good job, man. Work it out. I want that throttle higher. Oh, now you're back here again? <laughs> All right, come to a stop over here. Good. Oh my God. You need to do a left turn, right turn video. All right, come to a stop. GG, take a break. Take a break, yeah. I did great. Good job, man. All right, come to a stop, right in the middle. Good, 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 good. Hold that, hold that. Straighten out. Nah, I'll take it. It ain't pretty, but I'll take it. Take a break, man. All right, so the same thing. You're going straight. So much so that that's what's still taking you all the way over here. As soon as you start, turn those handlebars. I want you right in the middle. Had a nice turn them, turn them, turn them, turn them. Good, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Stop. Like I said, you're just showing off now. Good job. Take a break. All right. Nice and easy. You're doing excellent. Come to a stop. Preload. Head and eye. Turn it, turn it. All right. Good job. Take a break. All right. Coming to a stop. Preload. Good. Head and eye. Turn it, turn it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Rear brake. Straighten out. Excellent, Jimmy. Take a break.
to a stop. Good. Start turning. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Straighten out. Excellent, Clyde. Excellent. Take a break. And last but not least. All right. Preload, baby. Come to a stop. Good. Turn those bars. Turn them. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Stop. All right. Excellent, but in your defense, and I knew as soon as I saw it, when these bars, as soon as you turn it, your elbow is all into your stomach. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, I mean, without bars, you're a damn maniac on this thing because you're doing it with these. Good job, man. Excellent job. Take a break, man. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number five. Now it's time to lean, and I want it. I want it bad. Let's see if they give it to me. All right, uh, any questions on exercise number four? Right turns, left turns from a stop. I got to tell you guys, I mean, I'm just so surprised. I just was not expecting this. For some people, I was expecting it, but for others, I just wasn't. So, I'm, I, I mean, I'm here to let you guys know. I forget what you rated yourself, but so far, everything that you've done is, ab is well above uh, average on a motorcycle. And I think you're going to have no problem at all unless you let your head get to you with the rest of this stuff. Okay? All right. Now, I see cones that are askew. You guys should know. That. You know how I am. I don't mind people coming in here and doing their own thing, but if you hit something, I need you to put it back right where it is. All right. Exercise number five, guys. Single serpentine. So now, Ruben, I know you couldn't wait to get here because I, I kept saying I don't want lean. And you kept leaning in exercise number four. Well, now I want lean. And every time I want it, somebody refuses to give it to me. Okay, so um, what's important to know here, guys, is this exercise, I never used to think this exercise was really important. I just liked the way it felt and the way it looked. And that's why I did it. Uh, but especially after my friend rear into my motorcycle, I realized that if you're not proficient at this, right? When uh-oh happens, this is not in your tool belt. It wasn't in his. So he didn't even have the presence of mind to swerve. Squeeze and hope for the best. Just straight right into me. So if you're going at a certain speed, Clearly, you can't turn at 15 feet. You can't do this if you're going 40 miles an hour, right? That's when you're turning like this. So if he's going at a certain speed, he's not going to be able to swerve like this. But if he's properly emergency braking, front and rear brake, which he wasn't, he's going to get into the speed range where then he can do this. But again, not even the presence of mind to do it. So with this exercise, guys, these cones are 15 feet apart. You can't be going too fast, you can't be going too slow. If you're going too slow, you can't lean. If you're going too fast, good luck, right? I want you to go out wide on these turns. That's gonna keep your speed down, it's gonna force you to lean. Nothing crazy, but please don't hug these cones. See how far out this bike is? This is how I want you approaching this. You can even be wider. I don't want you here approaching it because that's what people wanna do. They wanna come in here and slight turns. They wanna do this like we're on a ski slalom. That's not what I want, because anybody could do that. Show the motorcycle who's the boss. Keep your head in your eyes straight ahead. You guys are gonna be coming this way, looking at my camera. Keep your head in your eyes straight ahead. Let the motorcycle lean under you. In other words, counterbalance, all right? We don't lean with the motorcycle, we counterbalance. We lean with the motorcycle at speed, right? Um, make sure you stay in the friction zone or in and out of the friction zone. But what I find is, once again, if you find a, uh, an appropriate speed. If you stay at that speed, this whole thing is so much smoother. But when you're trying to change a bunch of things as you're going through, that's when it's, it looks all, all choppy. Again, I don't care if it doesn't look good. All I care is that you can do it successfully. All right? <laughs> um, any questions on that? All right. You guys are going to start down there. I'm going to demonstrate it first. You're coming this way. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it first, and then I want you guys to do it. Remember, this is also preparing you for making transitions when we get to the figure eight and the offset double serpentine. So when you're going through here, I don't want you turning like this. Transition, transition, transition. Show the motorcycle who's the boss, because if you transition slow, you're losing space, which means you're going to slow down and now you're going to be straight up. And I don't want you straight up. I want you leaning, leaning. Like your handlebar should never be straight in here. Boom, boom, boom. Again, nothing crazy. Go out wide so that you're not hugging the cones. 
Now you might see some people like Josh, whatever, he might look like he's going fast, but it's really just the fluidity that's tricking your eyes because you can't go in, you can't really go too fast in here anyway. All right. All right. I'm going to demonstrate it. You guys can stage up there. Um, and then Gigi and you know, maybe Ruben, he was late. I don't know. It's up to Gigi. Go out wide, lean, lean. Head and eyes straight ahead, go out nice and wide. Head and eyes straight ahead. Good, good. So watch it going, good. Right there, correction with the rear brake, good. Excellent, Gigi, excellent. Start on the other side, Gigi, do it again. Do it again, start on the other side. Nice, Ruben. You guys notice he got that fat front tire kit and he's still handling it. And he's accustomed to it now, so. Head in his eyes, straight ahead. Showing the motorcycle was the boss. Covering the rear brake, slight pressure. Good job. Good. Good, go out wider, go out wider. Good, excellent, Clyde. Nice correction with the rear brake. This is why we're always covering it. You know, we're not robots. We're gonna make mistakes, but we're gonna correct it. And we're gonna correct it smoothly with that rear brake. You're looking at every cone, head and eye, straight ahead. Good job, man, good job. All right, we got Art here. Dip it in, dip it in. Good, dip it in. Beautiful, beautiful. Like an old man getting into a warm tub. Beautiful. I'm talking about the bike. Good. You're looking at every cone, head and eye, straight ahead, Jimmy. There you go, there you go. Good correction, good correction. Oh, I love it. Oh, too much power at the end. That's my fault, I was giving you too much accolade. <laughs> But good job. You saw that correction? I love seeing it not pre perfect and watching them work it out. That's how we grow as motorcycle riders. Whoa, easy. Good correction. Good correction. Good. Head and eye. Straight ahead. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go. I'm going to do it one more time. And then we're going to move on to the other stuff. I can't say the good stuff because it's all good. Look at Gigi. Oh, my God. It's a natural. Go to the U-turn, Gigi. Good job. We got bystanders looking and she's saying, why are they doing that? Because people don't realize it. They're becoming the boss of their motorcycle. That's why. Good job, baby. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, man. I just love seeing the, pro the progress that these guys have made because they've prioritized this. You know, riding a motorcycle is not just about fun and games for them, but it is more fun. Why is it more fun? Because they actually know what they're doing now. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's close. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of them out there. Lean it, baby. Lean it. Good. There we go. Show who's the boss. That's what I'm talking about. Keep the speed up. Good. Good job, man. Good. Find an appropriate speed. That's good. I heard the brakes. Make the correction. Lean it. Go out wide. Go out wide. Keep the speed up. Good. Good. Keep the speed up. Good. Nice, Art. Nice. Art of the deal. The deal is the friction zone today. Nice, easy, easy, good, good. All right, now what uh, Jimmy is doing is Jimmy is using momentum. When he feels like he needs the throttle, he gives it power. Can you do it that way? Yes, but that's why he's jerking up, down. 
Jimmy too. He's not steady with it, but he's working it out. Oh, outstanding, man. Outstanding. All right, guys. These guys are surprising me left and right. I'm not surprised anymore. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number six, the infamous U-turn. Outstanding. If I had to, if you had to guess on who I thought uh, did that exercise, I'm not going to say the best, but who made my eyebrows raise and I loved what I saw? Who would you think that is? Chris? That's a good guess. Chris was one of them. Chris and Jimmy. So, and I say that because, man, it don't look pretty at all. And that's what I love to see because they were just working through everything that was going on. If they needed the rear brake, they used the rear brake. Beautiful. Because I, I, sometimes you were going a little too fast. And what Jimmy is doing, Jimmy is not keeping the throttle steady. He's throttle blipping. When he needs the power, he gives the power. That's why it's not smooth. But if you keep it steady, you'll be smooth through the whole thing. And all you got to do is do slight adjustments. Again, I don't care. You're working it out. That's all that matters. But realize that when you're in the real world and people and cars and stuff are around you, you're going to want to do stuff smooth. Throttle blipping, you know, it's not going to be as smooth uh, as, as it could be if you just kept the throttle loaded. And wh wherever you are in the friction zone, just stay there. Use the rear brake, right? But good job. Outstanding. Any questions? Great. All right, I know you've all been waiting for this. Some of you have already been in here seven, eight times. Welcome to the infamous U-turn. All right. Man, this is a good-looking bike, man. And this is one of the angles I love looking at it. Okay, so this, quite frankly, especially after seeing what you guys have already done, is easy, easy, easy. Remember when I said, wherever your throttle is, keep it there? Wherever your clutch is, keep it there and just use the rear brake when you need it? That's what you're doing as you approach this U-turn. So as you're approaching this U-turn, find an appropriate speed. And when you're happy with your speed, wherever your throttle is, keep it there. Listen to what it sounds like, keep it there. Wherever your clutch is, keep it there. That's you in the friction zone. Head and eyes, turn your head and your eyes, look at my camera. If you don't have that much dexterity to look at my camera, look at something over here. Because at least if you do that, as you're making the turn, as you progress in the turn, you'll still be able to see where you're going. Because remember, we're looking where we want to go, not where we're going. Two things I want you to do me a favor. One, when you get in here, I want you to commit to the lean right away, right? What happens is people come in here to make a U-turn. Oh, he couldn't make it in. He passed the entrance. When people go to make a U-turn, they're apprehensive about leaning. So they barely lean. And then they look at the cones on this side, and when they see I'm not gonna make it, then they lean. If you wanna make this turn as tight as possible, when you turn your head and your eyes, turn the handlebars, lean. Lean right away, commit to the lean right away. And I was talking to Chris, Chris was saying to me, when should I turn my head and my eyes? And I told him, you turn your head and your eyes right before you turn your handlebars. It's head and eyes, handlebars. Head and eyes, handlebars. That's the order in which we do it. It doesn't make sense to start turning and then look because it could be too late. So can I, can I turn my head and my eyes and still, I'm sorry, can I look this way and still make a tight turn this way? Yes. Do I actually need to turn my head and my eyes? No. But this is a safety thing. I need you to be accustomed and used to turning your head and your eyes before you commit to a turn, before you commit to a lean. And a U-turn is where it's most important because now it's not like exercise number four where we're making a right or a left turn where maybe our peripheral vision could pick it up. This happening behind us. So we gotta turn our head and our eyes, right? So commit to the lean right away. Also, I don't wanna see you guys do this. Okay, time to turn. Because you're losing space. As soon as you're gonna turn, turn. Now, nothing in here is extreme. This is 27 feet wide. That's three parking spaces. If you need it all, use it all. I already know Josh is gonna be in this 18 foot box. If you wanna try an 18 foot U-turn, knock yourself out. Remember, it's not necessary. If you wanna try it without the confinement, just pass this line and try it. If you don't make it, boom, right? Nice and easy. Now, here's something I see people do all the time. 
Gigi, I saw you do it earlier, and I saw you do it too, Ruben. Your speed is perfect, pulling in. As soon as you go to commit to the, to the lean, your speed, you slow down so much, now you can't lean, and you're making a straight up U-turn. I love a straight up U-turn. It looks beautiful, it takes a lot of skill, but that's not this exercise, because all that shows me is that you're not comfortable leaning the motorcycle, and we need to get over that. I need you to be comfortable, right? You guys are leaning over there with no issue. Keep power to the rear wheel, listen to the throttle, and you're not gonna have any problems at all. Nothing has changed, okay? Nothing has changed. So I'm gonna demonstrate, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna make a left U-turn, just straight through. Listen to my throttle, watch my head and my eyes. I'm not gonna turn my head and my eyes slow. I'm gonna snap it. I'm gonna commit right away. And when you guys make this turn, I'm always looking at the light under your motorcycle. And when you go to make that U-turn, I should see the light go like this. And just stay like that. But what I see is this. And then at the last minute, because you see you're not gonna make it, and that shows me that you're looking at these cones. Don't look at the cones. Look straight here. Then I'm gonna stop and make a U-turn. Now, that's not extreme. I'm not expecting you to make it right from there. You can go forward first, head and eyes, handlebars, make the turn. Then, stop, make the U-turn, and stop. Whatever U-turn you guys make today, when you're coming out of the U-turn, I want you facing straight. I don't want you facing like this. I don't want you facing like this. Again, we're talking about being in control. I know for a fact that when you come out of the U-turn, your goal is to go like this. If you're going this way, you're not in control. And if that happens, we're gonna talk about it. I want you to tell me what happened. Why, what would make me continue to go this way? Anybody know the answer to that? If I know I wanna go this way, and I get caught in that turn, the bike's going this way. Good guess, but no. Hmm? He said too much speed. It's actually not enough friction zone because you're in the friction zone going around here. You didn't start coming out of it in enough time. You got stuck in it. What does the bike want to do with power? It wants to stand up and go straight. So if you're stuck, open up the clutch. That's how you straighten out your motorcycle, but we're covering the rear brake because at some, we're going to also stop. Okay. Any questions? All right. Yeah. Nothing to fear. Listen to my throttle. And also, I want you to realize I'm not doing anything extreme in here. I'm not fully locking. I'm not dragging any boards. So, oh, sorry guys. Sometimes things just come to me. The beauty of this is I just need you to give me a little bit of what I want in every department. A little bit of lean, a little bit of handlebar turn. If you give me a little bit of both, you're golden. But if you give me less of one, you're going to have to make up for it with the other. So if you don't lean enough, you got to turn the handlebars more. I'm trying to eliminate anything being extreme. Little lean, little handlebar turn, but don't be going too fast. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that. I don't want you giving me a momentum U-turn in here, right? The friction zone should be pulling you through this. It should really be pulling you through all of this, but definitely this. So if you're going in here too fast, Ruben, I'm gonna say, slow down, right? I don't want you to be line to line, unless you have to be, right? And if, if, you, if you really don't have to be, we're just gonna talk about why. It's always the same thing, speed, too much speed. So don't go, don't go too fast, don't go too slow. Oh, look at this thing. Look how good this thing looks. It just looks good getting on and getting off. Thanks, Jimmy. Head nice. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Come to a stop. Had a nice. And if you ever feel yourself going a little too fast, that's why we're covering the rear brake and that's gonna happen. You know, especially when we do it from a stop, you might take off with a little bit too much speed. Because you're already covering it, correct it. Don't overcorrect it, correct it and go on with your life. And if you feel anything like, uh-oh, open up the clutch a little bit. Your bike's on, buddy. I see a pink helmet. We'll talk about that when you get back. Straighten out. Again, that is extreme. Josh, I know you're going to try it, but for the rest of you, stop. You turn, stop, straight. And when you're coming straight, if you feel like, uh-oh, friction zone, friction zone, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, 
Bing. Any questions? Gigi? Head of nice. Nice, Gigi, nice, very nice. Nice and steady. She didn't change anything, everything was smooth. All right, we gotta tighten that up, Ruben. We gotta tighten that up. Nice. Good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, commit, commit, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. All right, man, good job, work it out. See if handlebar's going like this? I don't want that. Turn, commit, keep everything the same. Going too slow, going too slow. Keep that speed up, lean that bike over. I'm good, thank you. Good, head and eyes. Lean it over, keep it low, it's going too slow. There we go, keep the speed up. Watch that curb, watch that curb. Oh, I expect you right here, man. Lean it over, brother, lean it over. You're going too slow, that's why, too slow. If you go slow, you're not gonna wanna lean, I don't blame you, it's gonna fall. Very good, gonna do a dip here. Nice, keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice, brother. Nice. Imagine how he would be with higher bars. Oh, beautiful. Good, stay at that speed, stay at that speed. Stay at that speed, head of nice. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Lean it over, baby, lean it over, lean it over. Too slow right there. Good job, though, excellent. Slow down. Good, head of nice, lean it over. Easy on that rear brake. Good job, man. There you go. Good job. Good. Keep the speed up. Head and eyes. Keep the speed up. Open the clutch. Open the clutch. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good job, boy. Still puttering, man, it's puttering. Good, slow down, slow down. All right, good, head and eyes, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, you're good, you're looking at those cones. Good job, buddy. Good job, Clyde. That was much better. Good, keep that speed, keep the speed, head and eyes. Don't give up on the turn, just stay in it. Good, lean it over. Lean it over, keep it loaded. There we go. Nice and smooth. Nice head and eyes, man. Excellent, Chris. Excellent. Right at the line. All right, Gigi. You turn, looking good. Nice, Gigi. All right. Good job. All right, you turn. All right, so he's just not coming into the lean right away. Again, he's not comfortable with those bars. It's a rented motorcycle. All right, give me some more preload, keep it up. Good, that's what I wanna hear. Preload, good. Good, oh man, that was good. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Working it out, baby. There you go. Keep it loaded, I beg of you. That last U-turn was your best U-turn so far.
Beautiful. Because everything stayed the same. Feel good? All right, let's do it again. Head nice. Commit to the lean right away. Throw it over. Throw it over. There you go. See, they don't want to commit right away, and I get it. But it just makes the turn tighter. All right, good. Look at good. When you start this U-turn, commit to the lean right away. Just throw it over, baby. Trust and believe. Preload. Throw it over. Throw it over. Now, see, he's leaning with the bike. You don't lean with the bike. You count a balance. He's leaning with the bike. All right, U-turn. Looking good. Commit to the lean. Lean it over. There we go. All right, U-turn. Looking good, Chris. All right, so I'm going to ask Chris to go a little slower because he's going a little fast in there. And I don't want him going fast. I don't want speed taking him through that. I want the friction zone pulling him through that. Good stop. Come to a stop over there. Trust and believe. There we go. Beautiful. Right turns next. All right, come to a stop. Right turns next. Dude, that was perfect. The stop was a little abrupt, but that U-turn was perfect, man. Oh. I wish I was recording it. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. Why do you think you're struggling with this 18 feet? I feel like I'm not committing early enough. There you go. Not committing right away. But I know the boss suck, you know. Commit right away. Throw it over. All right, good job, man. Right turns next. All right, so when you're making this turn, your handlebars are going like this. Listen, I commend you anyway, because these handlebars are tough to do this stuff. Yeah, I'm good. Right? Exactly. But you're working it out. So when you turn your handlebars, just try to keep them like that. Every time you straighten out, you're widening out a little. But you, man, you're working it out. All right, don't forget to come to a stop. Commit right away. Reload, reload. Head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Rear brake, rear brake. Head and eyes. Come to a stop. That quick, you forgot. But look at how smooth that stop was. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent stop. Come to a stop over here. Right turns next. Head and eyes. Come to a stop. I'll take it. <laughs> you concentrate so much you forget. And he's he's staring at all of those cones as he's making that turn. All right, come to a stop. Don't forget to come to a stop. Commit to that lean. Reload. Lean it over. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Straighten out. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right, come to a stop, right turns next. Guys, the mountains look so nice in the background. Outstanding. Come to a stop. I want you to slow down too, you're taking these turns really quick. Okay. All right, but obviously don't go too slow. Okay. Split the difference, Chris. Good, there we go. Good, good, good. Straighten out. Dude, that's just beautiful, man. Good job. Right turns. Stay at that speed. Don't slow down. Rear brake, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Nice, Gigi. No. Straight through. Good. Head and eyes. Lean it over. Good, good, good. Ah. That's 10 push-ups. Trust and believe, Ruben.
All right, looking good. Straight through. Good, keep the speed up. Keep power to the rear wheel. Keep it low, head and eyes. All right, look at the camera. Good, keep it loaded. See how slow you're going? That's why your foot's coming off. Good job, though. Trust and believe. He's getting ready to put his foot down because he's going so slow, he feels falling, and rightfully so. Head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes, head and eyes. Head and eyes, you're looking at every cone over here, Clyde, and stealing one of them. So every turn that Clyde makes, it's wide because he's looking at all of the outside cones. If he looks at it, that's where he's going to go, most likely. Good, lean it over, keep it loaded, stay at that speed. Good, good, head and eyes, head and eyes. Good job. I forgot I got to tell him to counterbalance. Good, head and eyes, lean it over. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Good, there we go. Again, I don't want a swooping U-turn. I want the friction zone to pull him through. Good, head and eyes. Outstanding. Outstanding. Straight through, Gigi, straight through. Good, stay at that speed, head and eyes. Good, 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 keep it loaded, keep it loaded. See how much you're slowing down? Good job, though. All right, Ruben. Good, lean it over, head and eyes, stay at that speed, good. Keep those handlebars turned, there we go. Oh. There we go. Now I can give him a key card to the neighborhood. His rights are better than his left. Keep the speed up, keep the speed up. Head and eyes, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Good correction, man, good correction. But when he corrected it, he jammed it. So not only did I hear it, I saw the bike go. Keep it loaded, baby. And that's 10 push-ups. Straight through. Head nice. Friction zone, friction zone, friction zone. Good. Look at my camera. Good, good, good. Excellent, man. Chris. So when you're coming out of that turn, you're going this way. I want you to come out straight, okay? Good job. Come to a stop. Looking good, just maintain that speed. It's hot, okay. When you start moving, maintain that speed. Woo! Woo! All right, you're gonna have to take a, let that bike cool off then, I guess. That nice, good speed, keep it like that. Good, good, hold it, hold it, good. Straighten out, excellent. That was beautiful, nice and smooth. So I noticed that when you're making these turns, I know I say we don't have to do anything fully, but that's the only thing making you so wide. You're not turning, turn handlebars all the way. All the way. Not from the start, go straight first and then when you turn, lock them. Good, turn them, head and eyes. There we go, look how tight that is now. You're liking rights better than left today. <laughs> We're not stopping yet. Nice and smooth on that stop. Nice. All right, you turn. Keep those RPMs up. Keep it loaded. Good, good, keep it loaded, head and eyes, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, too much speed, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Trust to believe, I love it, baby. Fourth the instinct and one. Put the foot out, but didn't put it down. But he keeps feeling like putting his foot down because he's slowing down too abruptly, too much pressure on that rear brake. Nice and easy, okay? Keep the, you like rights, rights better or lefts? It looks like you like lefts better. Yeah. 
Okay, everybody's got a favorite side. Commit to that lean right away, you're going out wide because you're not committing to the lean right away. And you gotta turn these handlebars almost all the way, which is not extreme on this bike. It, it kind of stuffs like right there. Yeah. All right, just make sure your speed's not too high and not too low. Good, preload. Slowly release that clutch. Good, good, good. A little bit more speed. Good, good. Pressure, pressure. Rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Nice, nice. Now all you have to do is keep the, a little bit of pressure on the rear brake and it would have pulled them in even more. All right, Jimmy. So you're leaning with the bike. Counterbalance, counterbalance. Good, head and eyes, head and eyes. Keep looking, keep looking. Straighten out like butter, baby. No, no, you're good. All right, you turn. Good, head and eyes, look at my camera. Nice. Straight through, straight through, straight through. All right, straight through. Uh, no stop. No stop. Nice. The head and eyes is perfect. Perfect. See, he's still swooping out here. I want him to be straight. Come to a stop over here, and then figure eight. Nice, nice, nice. Stop! <laughs> All right, figure eight. All right, come to a stop, and then go into the figure eight. Easy on that rear brake. Follow Ruben, he knows where it is. Ruben, figure eight. All right, come to a stop over here, and then figure eight is next. That's where they're going. Reload, reload, reload. Head and eyes, head and eyes, all right, head and eyes, all right. Keep it loaded. Throttle's too low. Come to a stop. So that's why you keep feeling like putting that foot down, because you're going too slow, but your throttle is so low, it bikes. But right, you keep working it out, man. I don't know how you're doing that. <laughs> All right, come to a stop, and then we're going on to the figure eight. Good, hold that, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake, rear brake. Come to a stop, straighten out. Excellent, Clyde. All right, come to a stop, and then we're going to the figure eight. Good, lean it over, head and eyes. Keep it loaded, rear brake, rear brake, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Stop, straighten out. Excellent, Jimmy. All right, come to a stop and then figure eight next. Reload. Excellent. Beautiful, come to a stop and then we're going to the figure eight. Good, lean it over, lean it over, keep it loaded. Keep it loaded, beautiful. Outstanding, Gigi, outstanding. All right, so Chris, you're still coming out of this U-turn like this. I want you to come out straight, come to a stop. Nice and easy. Speed. You're going too fast. too fast. When you do this turn, you're swooping it. Okay. So when you swoop a turn, it's harder to get out of it. Okay. Nice and easy. Let the friction zone pull you through it. Good. Head and eyes. Good, good, good. Start coming out. There you go. Right there, you started coming out of it a little too late. That's the reason why you're a little bit facing this way. Okay. That's the timing thing, that's all. Okay. First world problems, Chris. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, we're going to move on to exercise number seven, the figure eight. Man, they are just doing phenomenal out here today. California is well represented. Let me show this to you guys. 
Check out these mountains, guys. Ah, and it's in my backyard today, guys. It's in my backyard. All right, come on up, guys. I need to have y'all come to South Georgia for a while, all this ducking into the shade. <laughs> it's 78 degrees. I mean, this is a joke. Yeah, you can stay right there, as long as you can hear me. Well, again, you need to come to South Georgia. <laughs> now we got some heat and some humidity there for you guys. All this shade hiding. You guys got any questions about the U-turn? Oh my God, you guys are just, Art, Art is like, it's almost like he's a magician. Because I don't know how he's doing some of the things he's doing with those handlebars like this and then like this and, and he's doing all kinds of stuff. But every time Art came around, trust and believe, trust and believe. He never put it down. And I told you that was going to happen, that at some point you're going to go to put your foot down and you're going to pull it in. That's, it means it's starting already. You're fighting the battle against your instinct and winning, right? But why is Art even doing that? Well, it's because he still refuses to give me some RPMs. Right? And if you're leaning the bike and your RPMs are low and you're going slow, yeah, you're going to feel falling. That's why you want to put your foot out. But, boom. So good job. Again, I'm not expecting perfection. As a matter of fact, I prefer it not to be perfect and watch you work through it. That's what's going to make you better. Chris, Chris, I'm just, I have to admit it. I, that, that was the guy. I thought he was going to have some issues today. Man, his head and his eyes, he's like the exorcist. Boy, he's <laughs> Man, he's on it, right? Smooth. So, so again, we all, we all, we all at different skill levels. That's the beauty of this. Everybody's at a different skill level. So what I have to say to Chris might be something different than what I have to say to, to Josh. So Chris was coming out of the turn, and every time he came out the turn, as good as it looks, remember I told you I wanted you guys straight at the end. He's coming out like this. And then he said to me, "Well, what's causing that? See, that's key. Because if he doesn't know what's causing it, he's just going to keep doing it." And I told him it's because he's going too fast. When you go too fast in a turn, it's all about timing too. He's not timing coming out of the turn quick enough, so now he's going like this. Now the next time he came around, timed it, timed it, off a little bit, so now he's only facing a little bit like this. Yeah, I'm gonna be a stickler about that because again, this is about control, and I need you to be in control. I need you to be able to put that motorcycle right where you wanna put it, not where it ends up, all right? That's the boss. The boss is gonna do it the way, the motorcycle's gonna do what we want it to do, period. All right, any questions? Outstanding, beautiful, beautiful. So I have a lot of confidence in this exercise for some of yous, that's New York talk. This is the figure eight. This is the same width as that U-turn box, 27 feet. 46 feet I'm giving you here, right? 46 feet. Um, I don't have much new to tell you guys, right? The same thing you did in that box, I want you to do here. But now you're gonna start hearing me. I know if you watch my videos, hold it, hold it, hold it. That's what you're going to hear me saying now, because that's what this is. Doubled cones, that's an entrance and or an exit. In this case, that's the entrance, that's the exit. When you guys come in here, I want you to come over here. I'll be standing over here waiting for you. Head and eyes. I want you to look at that green cone. I want you to use all of the space that you need. I used to say use all the space that's provided, but everybody doesn't need all of this space. So if you don't need it all, you're fine. But if you need it all, don't rip yourself off. Don't start to turn this far off unless you can make it up over here. Don't start to turn five feet off of these cones unless you can make it up over here. Now, if your right turns are better than your left, the first turn you're making is the left. If you make that one and it's not perfect, you could probably make it up with the right turn, all right? In any case, when you guys come in here, when you come over here, this is the last time you're looking at this corner until you're leaving. Other than that, you're looking at these green cones. This is a fat, this is a digital figure eight. That's what I'll call it. Because I'm going to the sides, sides. So, head and eyes, look at that green cone. Hold this turn. This is nothing but a U-turn, you just did it. And you guys did it phenomenally. When you get to the 12 o'clock spot, turn your head and eyes and look at that cone. And I want you to go for it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, I got it twice, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Don't start coming out here. I'm, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I want you to maximize the use of your space. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Remember we talked about transitions in exercise number five? Here they go. Don't give me a slow transition. You're losing space. And I want you to maintain your speed. So if some of you guys were slowing down in the U-turn at the top, like I told you you would, but we kind of took care of that. Keep that going here. Keep your speed constant. Again, throttle blipping, it just, it could, it, let's put it like this. It, 
increases the odds on unsmoothness. Now, if you're not comfortable doing the transition part of this, right? When you do this first turn, I want you to hold the turn and I want you to stop right here on this side of the green cone. And I'm doing that because if you can make a turn that tight to stop right here, look at all of this space that you have to make a right turn, right? That's only if you don't feel comfortable doing the whole thing. If you feel comfortable doing the whole thing, head and eyes, look at that green cone. Hold this turn, hold it, hold it. Keep looking at it. When you get to the 12 o'clock spot, head and eyes, look at that green cone. Now I used to just have one green cone and tell Pepe, just look at it. But guys, I get it. It's not comfortable doing this. I get it. But you know, I, I, I need you to be comfortable being uncomfortable just for a few seconds. So this takes care of that. This is not too crazy. And as you progress in the turn, I can already see that cone in my peripheral vision anyway, but I want you to turn and look at it. So Art and Clyde, I've already called the Lake Elsinore police on you for molesting my cones with your eyes. You guys are looking at my cones like, like, like nobody's business. Um, and with Clyde. And Clyde, he looked at it and went right to it. Nothing else was wrong with his bike, but he just was looking right at it. So just trust me, guys. Trust me, trust me. Yeah, it's going to go where you look. And I'm even talking about a glance. Don't even glance and don't think with your glasses. I can't tell. I know if you're looking at the cones. All right? So anyway, you guys are going to do this twice. And then you're going to exit out here. If you don't put a foot down, if you don't hit a cone, ka-ching, you get a ka-ching. Don't do like this guy did in Ohio. He did it beautifully. And on the way out, clipped one of those cones. Couldn't give him a ka-ching. Actually, I wind up giving it to him anyway. All right? Any questions? So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do it using as much space as possible, and then I'm going to tighten it up. So when I tighten it up, what's changing, Ruben? Speed. And? Speed. No, my speed is the same. Handlebars. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. No, I don't want speed, more speed. I just want to, I'm just, no, that's one thing Ruben was doing. I'm looking at Ruben in the U-turn, and I'm like, why the hell is he so wide? Everything looks nice. It's because he's barely turning his handlebars. And again, that's fine. But I know Ruben and Gigi, they practice all the time. He wants more. And I'm telling him, just turn the handlebars more. Because as he's turning, I saw his handlebars go like this. So he clearly could do it. Just hold it there. Remember, one of the C's in preloadination is consistency. So when you turn your head and your eyes, consistently keep them turned. Wherever you are in the friction zone, if it's an appropriate speed, stay there. Don't, you know, rear brake. If you're covering the rear brake, that's the only thing you should be kind of, you know, you might want to move on and off of. It all depends on what's going on in there. Uh, I forgot who did uh, the U-turn beautifully. And then at the end, because again, his foot wasn't on the rear brake. And then when he goes to it, you're going to smash at it. I'm, I'm guaranteeing you're going to do it. That's why we cover it. All right? All right. When I tighten it up, and I told Jimmy, I said, Jimmy, I'm going to take the bags off of this bike just to be safe. But damn, it looks so good, man. I, I'll just buy, I'll pay for new bags if I have to, man. I, <laughs> Head and eyes, hold it. Head and eyes, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Use all the space provided. Hold it. Hold it. A little bit of pressure on the rear brake. All right, it's been christened. Guys, full disclosure, when I was just doing that uh, figure eight, my intent was not to lean the bike that much, to scrape that much. But the clutch got stuck. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I can't believe that they told him that that's, that's normal. It's not. And if, I mean, if somebody's not riding at my level of skill, that's going to drop all the time, man. It's just crazy. And I'm pushing the envelope. You know, I don't expect everybody to ride like that. So she's way off the line, but... Now this is going to be tight. Very nice, Gigi. Good, good, good. Yep, now she's closer. So she's going to have way more room here. Very nice. Woo! Excellent! 
I'm not saying anything. I'm not going to say anything to anybody. I just want to see what they're doing. Very early, Ruben. Look how far he's over. He's over. He's going to lean this over a lot right here. And he's good. Counterbalance. Counterbalance. You're leaning with the bike. There you go. Easy on that rear brake. Easy on that rear brake. Good job. Guys, when you leave here, leave at a normal speed. I don't want you flying out of here. Good, keep it loaded. It's very early, Art, right, very early. Counterbalance. Transition, good, keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Give me some preload, please, I beg of you. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Start it over, start it over. Keep it loaded, baby. That's 20 push-ups. Listen to that throttle. Give me more, please. I'm down on bended knee. <laughs> Come on, all the way over here, all the way over. Give me some more throttle. Are right, you gonna start over? Okay, start over. There you go. Trust and believe, baby. Come on, come on. All right, head and eyes. Keep it loaded. Come to me. Come to me. Look at me. Look at me. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Good. Head and eyes. Slow down. Come on. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Nice. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Hold it. Hold it. Transition. Look at the exit. Look at the exit. Nice and slow. Easy, easy. Good job. Cadillac of motorcycles, baby. Good. All right, he's early. Head and eyes, look at me. Come on, hold it, hold it. So you started that turn right here. You should be over here. So you're making yourself have to lean more. Use all the space. I know you can't see the front because of this thing. So when you come back, don't turn until I tell you. Going too slow, you're going too slow. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, head and eyes. Come on, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. There we go, head and eyes. Look at me, come to me. Come on, you got, yeah. All right, so he's giving up a lot of space, but he should be good. It's gonna be a tight one. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded, keep the speed up. Good, good. Slow down, slow down. You don't want to go too fast. That's 10 push-ups. Nice and easy, man. Nice and easy. That was looking good, but speed got him. You know, going fast also forces you to make decisions quicker. Transition. Good. Counterbalance. Don't lean with it. Counterbalance. Push it down. Keep your body straight up and down. Good. Keep it loaded. There we go. Work it out, baby. Good job. Wow, that's really early. 
Nice, work it out, work it out, hold it, hold it. Good. She worked that out because she gave up a lot of space. Easy on that rear brake. Nice, Gigi. GG! This is with the fat front tire kit, guys. Nice! Next exercise! You hear your engine? It's too low. Give me some more preload. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Head and eyes, head and eyes. Transition. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Watch that foot. Your throttle's too low, Art. Got to keep it loaded. I knew this was going to be a problem. I've been asking for a preload ever since the warm-up exercise. And what did I say? As we progress, that's going to become a problem. Can't be leaning over these heavy motorcycles with low power to the rear wheel. We got to keep that throttle loaded. Keep, the, keep it elevated. Like butter, baby. Like butter. Next exercise. Come on, come on, come on. Good. Ah. Go back in, come back in. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Head and eyes. Watch your speed, head and eyes, look at me. Transition. Good, watch the speed, watch the speed. Come on, come on, you're getting wide because you're going fast. This is going to be tight now. Rear brake, rear brake. That's 10 push-ups. All the way over here, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn, keep the speed up. Head and eyes, look at me. Come on, come on, hold it, hold it, transition. You got stuck in the turn. Go back out, come right back in. They're all coming from me, man, they're coming from me. Come on, come on, come on, keep that speed up, turn. Keep the speed up, head and eyes, look at me. Come to me, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition, turn it. Keep it loaded. Ah. Open the clutch, open the clutch. Open the clutch, throttle out, baby. Come back in here. Come back in here, man. You, don't get, you ain't getting away that easy. Come on. Good, stay in the friction zone, same place, hold it. Head and eyes, look at me, come to me, hold it. Hold it, you look down. Hold it, come on, come on, come on. Transition, turn it, head and eyes, keep it loaded. Watch that foot. That's 40 push-ups, 50, 60. <laughs> All right, man. You guys, your chest is gonna be swole by the end of the day. Go back around again, just do it again. First real problems, Chris, first real problems. Good, 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 good. Transition. There we go. Easy. Too much speed, too much speed. Woo! Come back in, do it again. You got this, man, you got this. Come all the way over here. Come all the way over here. 
Now turn. Because he's making it tighter than it has to be. Good. Hold it. Transition. Good. Come on. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Transition. There we go. Keep it loaded. Good. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Transition. Look at the exit. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. That's what I'm talking about, Chris. Last but certainly not least. Show them how it's done, man. Knees dragging. <laughs> Keep the speed up. Keep the speed up. All right. Head and eyes. Look at me. Come to me. Good. Nice, steady pace of speed. Good. Counterbalance. Don't lean with it. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Come on. Come on. Look at the exit. Good job, brother. All right, guys. How about what I expected? They're doing great. Exercise number eight, offset double serpentine. Let's do it. Jimmy, again, thank you, man. All right. Any questions on that figure eight? Counterbalance. Counterbalance. What's the question? What was I doing or not doing to counterbalance myself? You're leaning with the bike. So you want to be like this. Okay. Again, it's not extreme. You don't have to be like this. Now, sometimes when I'm on my Road King and my Street Glide, um, I'll actually have like one cheek off the, off the seat. I'm, I'm counterbalancing to the extreme, but I'm also doing extreme things. All you need to do is keep your body straight up and down. Let the motorcycle lean under you. That's counterbalancing. Um, but you're like this. Now, at the end of the day, either way you do it, it's not going to change the mechanics of the, of the uh, motorcycle. It's still going to make the turn but this is way scarier at slow speeds, leaning into a turn. Do you like that? Much better. Now, I, I remember I told uh, Ruben, and I thought I told Gigi at a point too, to counterbalance. But it's just so much counterbalancing you can do if your arms are short and your handlebar, you know what I mean? As long as you're straight up and down though, no, that's a good question though. Any other questions? On the second, on the second try, I don't know what I did wrong. Because I got it the first time, but I didn't get it the second time. So you ripped yourself off. You gave up so much space. That's what, uh, Chris, that's what you were doing too. You were giving up so much space at the top that now you're forcing yourself to have to lean extreme on the other side to make that turn. Um, so that's what I mean when I say use all the space you need. Unless you were purposely trying to challenge yourself, then that's fine. Gigi did the same thing and so did uh, uh, Ruben. They gave up a ton of space up here, but actually the last one, Ruben was really tight over here. Again, if you're that tight up here, I know that's not your intention. So that means you're not really paying attention to what you're doing on that first turn. You're giving up space. Use all the space that you need. And if you're going to give up space, I would give up the space this way, not this way. Because if you're turning, you guys are turning well enough where you don't need to be, you don't need 27 feet, the whole thing to make the turn. But don't give up the 46 feet, right? And then the other part is the transitioning. Sometimes you guys are same thing like, like, with, like with the U-turn. I told you, don't change your speed. Your speed should stay constant the whole time. And, and when it was time to transition, remember, it's harder to turn these handlebars when the bike's not moving. So the slower you go, it's like, uh, especially Ruben with that big-ass front tire. So, you know, you got to, you know, you got you to you gotta muscle that bike. You got to work it. But, but I'm glad. I remember when Ruben first was thinking about getting that front wheel. And he asked me, do you think it's going to be a factor? And I said, to, I remember I got on this bike in Daytona. And I went to turn the wheel. I was like... What the hell? Right? But, yeah. But you can get used to anything. And he's proven that. Because he's been out here practicing for well, two years now on this bike. Right? And he can outride people riding with a, you know, OEM-sized front tire. So, and at the end of the day, I say to people all the time, we're not trying to be in a competition. So he's not trying to take that bike into a competition. But just normal riding, oh, he can, he can hang with the best of them. Right? And I'm proud of him. All right. Any other questions? Outstanding. Jimmy said something that stuck out to me. He said, man, first he asked me to edit out his, his, his thing. I'm not doing that. Um, then he said, I almost dropped my bike. I would have been pissed. I would have been so upset. Now, from my vantage point, he almost broke his ankle. Forget about the bike. The bike has engine guards and saddlebag guards. It'll be fine. But you break your ankle, you're going to be out for a while. You ain't going to be riding no bike. So, guys, I'm telling you, I always seem to be at the proper spot to see somebody's ankle either get destroyed or almost get destroyed. 
Don't put your foot down. Open up the clutch. But that's what this is about. That's why we have to practice. That's what trust and believe was all about. We have to get out of your mind that this, this is, no, this is not the answer on a motorcycle. You're going to get hurt. Anytime you put your foot down, especially in a turn like this, remember, your motorcycle is leaning this way. You put your foot down, the motorcycle is still moving forward. Your foot's moving backwards. When your heel comes up, something hard is waiting for it. Now, I can get away with it probably on this bike because it doesn't have saddlebag guards. But the saddlebag alone could still do it. It's all about angles, right? Seven pounds of pressure is all it takes to break a ligament or something like that. So I'm glad nothing happened, but realize that if it didn't happen, it's like playing Russian roulette with your ankle or your foot. There was no bullet in the chamber. But keep it up. You know, it's just gonna, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not wishing it upon you. Any other questions? Can we order a bucket of chicken? Yeah, after this is all over. Yeah, I told you, I'm not trying to get you guys sleepy. You eat, it's over. And he brought chicken wings too. Ain't nobody eating that, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, seeing that there's no other questions. Exercise number eight. Offset double serpentine. So, and I never have cones this high, but we were fortunate enough when uh, Ruben and I came out here to set up, we were like, holy crap, look at all these cones out here already. And I hope that some of you looked at that and didn't get scared. No, that's not part of me. Those cones were already here. But I am looking at those for follow the leader. I'm just... I'm looking at it for follow the leader. Okay, now this exercise is incorporating a lot of the stuff that we've already done. That whole hold it, hold it, hold it thing, you're gonna hear me saying that. You're gonna hear me saying watch your speed. You're gonna hear me saying head and eyes. You see how nothing changes? And I'm guaranteed, tell me your name? Dave Wright. Dave is an M MSF instructor? Total control. Total control instructor. I guarantee you, he's saying the same stuff. We all, this ain't, we, this, listen, this is not rocket science, right? It's all about doing certain things, but being consistent when you do them. So, see how my motorcycle's facing? When you guys come in here, and this is good too, I'm feeling good about this with you guys. First of all, when you come in, I want you to come over here and I want you to hug, the, hug this curb. And I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it, because there's shade here. And then when you, <laughs> when you come through this gate, again, I don't want you coming through the gate like this. Now, if you're leaning like Joshua, that's not a big deal. But I'm trying to make you work smarter, not harder. So as soon as you come through this gate, exercise number five, transition. And I want you to lean, I want you to go this way. I don't want you to go right to the gate. As soon as you pass this, now don't, don't a lot of people, they, they get past here and they, they turn way too early and just take this cone out. Again, situational awareness, know where your motorcycle is. Come here, dip the motorcycle, exercise number five, hold it, hold it, head and eyes. Look at the gate, go for it. Hold this turn, hold it, hold it. I want you closer to the outside cone. Because if, if you're on the inside, you're just taking up space. Hold this turn. When you get to this gate, don't look at the next gate. Look at the gate you came from. Hold this turn, go for it, hold it. Now I know you're gonna wanna come out here. Don't come out here because now you're back at the angle I don't want you to be at. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Head nice, transition. Now, this is about timing too. If you're going too fast and you transition too late, you're gonna be beyond. Work it out. Head and eyes, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Head and eyes, look at the gate you came from. Go for it, hold it, hold it. Now, hold it, hold it. Head and eyes, transition. And so on and so forth. Do it once, go around, do it again. And if necessary, we'll do it again, we'll see. Don't overthink this, guys. Don't go so slow either because I don't want you doing this straight up. I want you leaning the motorcycle. And again, keep your speed constant. If you keep slowing down, it's gonna, you can't lean the motorcycle, right? I don't want you to do this straight up. Um, Rob, quick question. So when I'm coming around like this, uh, as soon as I turn my head, is that the point I'm turning the bars to? Next. What comes first, head and eyes or handlebars? Head and eyes. What comes first, head and eyes or handlebars? Head and eyes. You just answered your own question. It's head and eyes and then handlebars. <laughs> no, because again, that's you overthinking this. You know, that does not change. Head and eyes, handlebars. Head and eyes, handlebars. And guys, I'm guaranteeing you, if you take a picture, matter of fact, I'll, I'll, I'll probably get some pictures of you guys and send it to you. Your picture's always gonna look better in the lean if you're like this, instead of this, right? I'm talking about what looks good, but at the end of the day, it's about safety. 
Again, I need you to be in the habit of looking before you commit to a turn or a lean. Because every time, how many times I see somebody commit to the lean and then see something and they don't know any about, they don't know about these techniques. They don't know how to ride the motorcycle. So that's when you hear that stupid term, I had to lay her down. Yeah, they had to lay her down. You're right, because what did I say before? Your options are limited to your skill level. If you don't know what to do, I gotta lay her down. And then I'm gonna go curse them out, I wanna fight them when they should be fighting themselves for not, you know, for taking this lightly. This stuff is, this is serious stuff, guys. It really is. I don't care what you're riding. It's, this is serious business. And the fact that you guys are here is a large testament that you get it, right? Now, I don't want you to do this class and then don't practice anymore until hopefully I come back to California or something else. Don't limit it to classes. Classes are good to have somebody looking at you and instructing you, but watch the, watch the videos, watch yourself in the videos, and then go out and practice all the time. Look up Ruben and Gigi, I'm telling you. They're ambassadors for a reason. So as soon as I go over here, I'm gonna dip. Dip, hold it, transition. Hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Now you guys are not gonna come back, but I just wanted to show you, if I go right to the gates, it's just more work. And I don't want you to do that. I want you to, we're basically doing figure eights. Every time you go out of a gate and you come back into a gate, figure eight, figure eight. Hold that turn. And when you think, I wanna, come, I wanna start coming out of the turn, no, hold it. Go to the gate you came from, head and eyes, keep your speed up, and you'll be fine. At no time should your handlebars be straight in this exercise. Any questions? Gigi? Nice, Gigi. Very nice. See how she's holding that? And she came kind of straight on that one, but on the next one, she held it so much that she's good. Look at this. Just beautiful. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And that's the key. Excellent. Here comes the speed, demon. Nice, but he always slows down when he needs to, so he's going straight for the gates. So look, he's beyond these gates now. Not holding the turn. See, so he's passing the gates. See, now he's way past that gate. He can still do it, but... I want him to hold the turn. There we go, hold it. Beautiful. Come to me, Art, come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. You're not coming to me, go ahead. Throttle, throttle. See, you're too far over. Abort, abort. <laughs> Again, I want him to come to me and he's coming right to the gate. That's gonna make everything more difficult. Come to me, Jimmy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, too wide, too wide. That's 10 push-ups. Good, hold that turn, hold it, hold it, transition. Transition faster. Hold it, hold it. Counterbalance, counterbalance. There we go. Good, slow down, slow down. Woo! Looking good, Chris. Oh, beautiful. Show him how it's done, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. 
Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, transition. Whoa! Now why do you lean forward when you're turning? See, you didn't come over enough. So the rest of this is gonna be tight. See, that's the, that's the angle I don't want them coming. Everything else is gonna be tighter now. You can still do it, but see, now he's outside of that gate. All from the start. It all starts from the start. Come to me. Nice. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Woo! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Nice. Beautiful, Gigi. Like a speed demon, man. And the reason you didn't make that before, the reason you clipped the comb, that first turn, you're going right for the gate. I want you to hold the turn, come to me. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Too much speed. There you go. Hold it, transition. But you see the angle he's coming at these gates? It's all from the, from the beginning because he's not coming to me, but it doesn't matter. Nicely done, Ruben, nicely done. Big fat tie on the front. Very nice. Now he's dragging his brake the whole time. I'm looking at the brake lights. I can hear them, but it's light pressure. Good, and now he's off. All right, all right, come to me. Come to me, lean it in. Come to me, come to me. Transition. There you go, hold it, turn it, you gotta turn. Chris takes direction very well. As I'm talking to him, I tell him to counterbalance. He counterbalances. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice. He's going out really wide, see? So look how good the angle is. See how good his angles are now? Cut himself short there. He just started to turn early. He's going a little fast, but he's coming out so wide that he's setting himself up for success. Beautifully done because he's holding the turns. Good, keep that speed right there. Hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Good, good, hold the turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Nicely done, Greg, nicely done. All right, we got Jimmy on his on his CVO. I thought to say, why is this guy on my bike? It's not my bike. <laughs> come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me. Transition. Hold that turn, hold that turn, hold that turn. Transition. Keep it loaded. Don't you scratch that pretty bike. <laughs> keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Easy on that rear brake. All right. Figured I'll switch bikes, and I like the fact that he did that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, hold that turn, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Transition. A little too speed, so he's still going out wide. You gotta lean more, hold that turn. Hold it, hold it, hold it, transition. Lean it in there, good. Hold that turn, hold it. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because the handlebars on this bike don't turn as much, you gotta lean more. So when you're making that first turn, you gotta come to me and come to me a lot. And then when you transition, you gotta come to the other, go back to the cone where you came from a lot. 
Like you gotta do everything a lot to make sure it doesn't, cause it's gonna tighten up on you if you don't do that. All right, one more time. One more time. See, I wanted Gigi to hold that longer. She's still good. See that swoop out? Nice. That swoop out was nice. See how counterbalancing? Oh my God, it's just perfect, man. Her throttle control is good. Very good, just excellent. You see Ruben comes in and he's on the inside cone. So he's gonna be on top of all of these. Again, he can still do it. And this is showing you where Ruben is skill-wise. Because look how tight he is on this, but he's still good. Very nice, very nice, Ruben. Nice, nice swoop out. See that, guys, the wider you go out, the better it's putting you in a position to make these turns. Look at that, look at that nice swoop out. Excellent. Good. Chris started that early. But he leans so much that he's good. I mean, look at his head and his eyes. Just perfect. It's like he should be on a, on a poster, a magazine or something. Look at that, look at that swoop out. Ooh, and he had, uh, he had to really lean to get into that one because he held it a little long. Snowman! Snowman! Good. Keep it loaded. Keep it loaded. Good, good, good. Hold it. Transition. Good, good. Keep the speed constant. Good job. All right, come to me, Art. Right, swing it over. Come to me, head and eyes. Too early. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. That throttle's low. That was a close one. But sometimes it takes a little scare like that for people to say, either I'm not gonna put my foot down or I'm done. <laughs> oh, wait, over, over. All right, you didn't come over enough. Too much speed, but good, good, good. Work it out, baby, work it out. Keep it loaded, keep it loaded. Woo! Oh, that was beautiful. Worked it out, baby. Come to me, all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. I didn't tell you to turn yet. Hold that turn, slow down, slow down. That burst of speed did it for you. That burst of speed did it for you. Yeah, that little burst of speed, that's what did it. And guys, we're not, you're not dealing with a whole bunch of space. So yes, that little burst of speed, it can ruin the rest of the exercise for you. Even if you try to spread everything out, it's gonna catch you by the time you get to the top. And I got six gates here, usually I have nine. All right guys, last numbered exercise, Abominable Snowman. All right, come out of the shadows. All this hiding from the sun. All right, guys, this is the last numbered exercise. Numbered, we ain't done. Any questions from the offset double serpentine? All right, you okay? 
Huh? Frustrated? So, have you ever practiced that exercise before? How often do you practice? Exactly, but you don't really think about it, like you said. Okay, so here's my, th my theory on that whole thing about being frustrated. If you practice all of the time and you struggle with certain things, then you've earned the right to be frustrated. Don't be frustrated if you know you haven't put the work in to do it. Again, like I said in the beginning, yes, this is a church, but it's not a miracle ground. So I don't expect you to get things, you know, right away. So don't get frustrated. Now, I do know that what happened to you, we probably got to, you know, change your underwear. But <laughs> sometimes people's confidence take a hit when they drop the bike or when they almost drop the bike. And I get that. That's totally normal. So you, the next exercise, I see it all the time. Now you're a little gun shy to do any leaning. But your issue... It's so funny, when you go back and watch this video, you, you're gonna hear me say it. I had the same issue in Florida. There was a guy that refused to keep his throttle loaded. And I said, when we get to stuff where we start leaning, it's gonna rear its ugly head. That's what's that happened to you in the uh, figure eight and the offset double serpentine. Your idle, it, I mean, your throttle's too low. You're at idle almost. You have to preload that throttle and keep it loaded. This is why you keep feeling falling and wanting to put a foot down, all right? Um, for the rest of you guys, where's uh, Clyde? So the last time Clyde went through, the first turn he made, you know, he held it really nicely. And then when he went to make a transition, this burst of speed, that was it, he was done. That's what that exercise would do to you. Yeah, stuff can still be corrected. It's harder on his bike because the handlebars don't turn as much. So he would have to lean like crazy to get it back. And Jimmy, I don't know what the hell got into you, man. He jumped on my his bike. <laughs> <laughs> and rocked it again wasn't pretty but it's the same issue when i'm standing there saying all right come to me come to me screw you rob i'm ready to turn and because of that early turn everything else is tighter now chris oh my god we already talked about the exorcist right but oh my god man he's he's making his turns and holding them so long that he set up big time for the gate. He could just like glide right through that gate. Hold that turn. Hold it. Hold. Don't start coming out. Hold it. Hold it. And now when he turns his head, oh my God, he's going through the gate almost already in a turn. That's what I really want. It makes it easier for you. If you don't do that, you're making it more difficult for yourself. And what that boils down to is this first turn, when I tell you, go around this cone and then lean the bike. A lot of you are not comfortable with that. And that's why you come out of it early. And now everything else is tighter. When really, we did this in exercise number five. All it is is the single serpentine. Just come around it and lean and then turn again. That's all we're doing. Okay? But you guys are doing great. Listen, I want to give a shout out to, where the hell is he? Oh, tell me your name again, Jose? Jose? Kyle? Kyle? Yeah. First Jose, because Jose's been carrying this camera around for me all day. You know, stuff is spread out all over the place at this uh, uh, church uh, parking lot. And... Man, kudos to him, boy, because otherwise I'd be a walking mother father. All right? All right, any other questions? Outstanding. So what I love about this, this is the abominable snowman. What I love about this exercise is, in my opinion, definitely today, it's something here for everybody. Four circles. Keep in mind, a circle's tighter than a box. 27 feet. The green cones just separate the circles. 27. 25. 27. 25. 22, 18. Uh, again, that 18 foot box, box, circle, is not necessary, right? If you can do 25 feet, you're in the ballpark. Because again, it's tighter than a box. So, keys to success. Let's start with the 27 foot box, but the rules are the same. Because this might be an eternity for some, but it might be tight for others. So if it's tight for you, just like over there, we don't want to give up space. So when you come in here, if your strengths are your rights, I'm sorry, your left turns, and you know you're going to do 27 feet, you're just going to go in here, you can go around twice if you want, and you're going to go back out. This is your entrance and your exit, okay? When you come in here, again, don't rip yourself off. Don't start the turn here. Bring your wheel right here. And then I want you to hug these two cones. So you're going to hear me say, wheel placement, hug them, Commit. Now, when you get to the top of this turn, now you can commit. Again, that's if this is tight for you. But as you progress into this, it's going to get tight. And the space is going to become more important. 
Hold that turn. Hold it. So now he, you hear me saying it again. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Now keep in mind, guys, we're not putting the motorcycle in cruise control, and we're not riding kit from Knight Rider. So if you decide to keep going around, I don't want you to think it's not, a, it's not on rails. It might not have the same trajectory. So that's why you have to pay attention to what's going on, and if you, if you choose to keep going, start changing things. If you're going too wide, squeeze the clutch in a little bit, or a little bit of rear brake. If, you're, if you feel like you're, you're too tight, you need to go out more, because you know you're not gonna make it if you stay that, open up the clutch a little bit, right? You gotta make, that's why when I do follow the leader, when I get down to about three people, oh, I come in here, and we'll just keep going. Somebody's gonna mess up, right? <laughs> right? So again, if you just wanna do the first circle, go around and go about. If you wanna do the second one as well, and again, if you know your rights are better than your lefts, and you're only gonna do two, start left so you can be doing your strong suit right. Go around, come through these cones, Wheel placement. This is three or nine o'clock. I don't know. I'll say nine o'clock because the way I'm facing. Put your tire right here. Hug these two cones. Now I'm not. I'm not a hypocrite. I told you don't hug my cones in exercise number five. Now I want you to hug these these two cones. I still don't want you to. Leave, I don't want you to stare at them. No, they never like that. Right? Commit. Hold it. Hold it. This is no different than what you were doing in the U-turn. Just hold it. Hold it, hold it. And if you're done, go back out. If you're not done, come back in here. Same thing, placement, hug them, commit. Head and eyes. Questions? The diameter of the center circle? Technically, there is no center because it's four of them. Oh, okay. So what do, can you say the, the dimensions of them again? 27, okay. 25, 22, 18. Got it. 18, you need a key card, a special key card to get in that neighborhood. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but it's not necessary. What you got? Excellent question. His question is, where are my eyes focused? When I first ride in here, especially riding this, I can't see anything. While I, when I get closer to it, I'm looking at this cone. Remember, I don't say don't look at them, don't stare at them. It shouldn't be an obsession, right? Once I get here, I'm looking at these two cones because I'm hugging them, but I'm not staring at them. I look, I see where they are. And when I commit, I'm looking at this, this cone in the middle. And I'm holding it, holding it, holding it. When I get about right here, I'm looking at those green cones because that's where I'm going. That's where I want to go. And when I look at a cone, I'm saying, I'm coming for you. Here I come. Boom. And when I get right here, now I'm looking at that cone because that's where I'm going. So when I come in here, I try to dip my motorcycle over a little bit because we know our rear tire trails the front tire. So I don't want to be like this. Not a big deal. You can still do it, but, you know. And the same thing, looking at these two cones, commit. I look over here, because I'm not, this is not the exorcist. I don't have Chris's dexterity. Hold it, hold it. Once I get about right here, now I'm looking at these green cones, because that's where I'm going. Any more questions? Good question, man. Because these are the kind of questions that even if you guys don't have it, somebody does. Placement, hug them, commit, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now I don't need all the space, so. Placement, hug them, commit, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Placement, hug them, commit. Come on, clutch. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Placement, hug them, commit. Come on, clutch. Ah, this clutch, man. And you get the point. Dude, if you guys only understood, this clutch is scary. Because when I go to open it, it don't open. So, all right, any questions? All right, Gigi's been practicing this since 0700. <laughs> oh yeah, but I can see Gigi's, it's happening, she's tired. This wears you out.
Good. Hug him. Commit. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Head nice. All the way over. Placement. Hug him. Commit. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Placement. Hug him. Commit. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Beautiful. What are you doing in there? Oh, okay. What are you doing in my neighborhood? Got to put a no trespassing sign up. <laughs> yeah, you got to, you got to, you know, you got to pay your HOA dues to go in there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, don't come this way, though. Go around the other way. But well, you can do it now, huh? All the way over, all the way over. See, he's early. All the way over, all the way over. Too early, Ruben, too early. All the way over. Hug him. Commit. Commit. Keep the speed up. Lean it, lean it, lean it. There you go. There you go. Get out of my neighborhood. I'm putting bars up. I'm putting barbed wire up, security cameras. I got to keep the people out of my neighborhood. Well, I already know Josh is coming up here with those terrible handlebars. Yeah? All the way over, all the way over, come on. Hug him, hug him, commit, commit. Too much speed, too much speed. So right there, he's not committed to the lean right away and then when he felt, uh oh, he speed. Speed just pushed him wide in that turn. Everything's gotta be nearly perfect in this 18 foot circle. All right, that's early. 10 push-ups. Trust and believe. All the way over, all the way over. Hug them. Commit, keep the speed up. All the way over, all the way, all the way. Hug those two cones, commit. Excellent. All the way over, all the way over. Hug those two, commit, commit. All right. Membership denied. <laughs> it's a good idea. Yeah, that's better than no trespassing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hug them, commit. Ah, it doesn't turn the same, I forgot. So we're gonna have to turn earlier, commit earlier. Come right back in here. Clyde, come right back in. So the funny thing about the gold ring is you have to lean more, but you don't have footboards. So you got to make sure your feet are in the right position. All the way over, all the way over. Commit, 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 commit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nice, Clyde. All the way over, commit. Got to lean it over. Got to lean it over. Yeah, good job, man. Hold up, hold up, you got a cone. The gold wings always steal the cones. I don't know why. All right, all right, yeah, we go. Good job, man. So I figured that his best bet was to stay in 25 feet, but he tried 22 feet.
10 push ups. All the way up, all the way up, all the way over. Hug them, commit, 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 keep it loaded. Slow down, slow down, slow down. It's another 10. One more time. All the way over, Gigi, all the way over. Hug them, commit. Nice, nice, nice. Go around again, go around again. Go back into 25. Ah. Good job. Just making a go around twice, that's all. You can go to the trailer. Trailer. All right, he's early here. Early, Ruben, early, early. All the way over here, all the way up, all the way up. Too early. He made it up. He's in my neighborhood again. Go to the trailer, good job, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Hug him, commit, commit, throw it over. Josh is definitely suffering from first world problems. He's annoyed because <laughs> he's done it. He did it while, you know, he was over here practicing off camera. Maybe it's the camera, but he'll be here tomorrow for practice session 72. Nice, nice. All right, that's early, Chris, that's early. Ten push-ups, Chris. Good, hug him, commit, commit. There we go. Very nice, very nice. Look at the counterbalance. Too early, too early. Good job, go to the trailer. Take a break. Good, good. There you go, keep your speed up, keep your speed up. All the way over. Hug him, commit. Good, come on in here. Right here, all the way over, all the way over. Hug those two cones, commit, commit. Woo! All right, take a break. He went for it.
He let that bike fall over, but unfortunately he owes me 10 push-ups. All the way up. Oh no, way too early, Art. Too early. Keep it loaded, Art. Too early. Too early. I want Art to come back in here, but he is leaving. Because he's just starting too early. All the way over, all the way over. Commit. See, so with the gold ring, I have to have him commit earlier. Because the handlebars don't turn as much. Good, good, good. Commit. He committed late. He committed late. So when you commit, you can't commit like lazily. You got to commit. Too early, too early, Clyde. All right. All right, guys, it's bonus time. Uh, we got two bonuses, but you know what we're going to start with? The maze. Let's do it. All right, guys, before I finish, before I finish, before I start talking about the maze, first, I need to acknowledge Jimmy again for letting me ride this beautiful bike. I need to acknowledge again Gigi and uh, Ruben for everything they've done. I need to again acknowledge Pastor Fred for allowing us to be here. Okay, so the maze, guys, welcome. This is nothing but a series of 18 foot or less U-turns. If you start over here, you're making two lefts and one right. If you start over here, you're making two rights and one lefts. So when you try it, when you, whichever way you go in, I want you to go back in the other way, right? And then if you want to do it again after that, wait till everybody else goes, okay? Um, so I was telling uh, Gigi, when I was in Ohio, these parking space bays in Ohio are 36 feet long. And they're the same thing here, 36 feet. In Pula, they're 40 feet. So you have four foot less length. So what does that mean? It means when you come up here, get all the way to the right, the width is the same, it's still nine feet, so that doesn't change. But you need to go deep into this thing so that when you make the turn, you need to get your butt over here as quick as possible. Come deep. Make the turn, get all the way over. Because you don't have a lot of time to get over, you got four less feet, okay? Watch your speed. Everything else I've told you, clearly is here. Now, if you haven't done an 18 foot U-turn yet today, good luck, I'm not gonna tell you not to try it. But, just keep that in mind. Head and eyes, commit to the lean right away. And once you commit to the lean, get out of the lean, all the way to the left, head and eyes, commit, head and eyes, commit, and you're good to go. Any questions? All the way over. Commit. Come on, clutch. pretty man this thing is making me look bad <laughs> but at the same time it's not man because I'm working it out and look how pretty it is all right Gigi oh no Gigi's not doing this can we do it slow or... I don't even know what that means what do you mean can you do it slow kind of straight up more? <laughs> no you, your bike can't do that straight up it's, a, a Harley Davidson touring motorcycle can't make an 18 foot u-turn straight up it has to lean has to has to who's going don't, don't knock each other over <laughs> Josh? Oh, what a surprise. Now his strong side is his right side. So he's going to start on this side. Two rights, one left. Head and eyes, lean it. See how he's committing late? All the way over. Good. Commit. All the way over. Commit. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All the way over, commit. Well within. Well within. Throw it over. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Well within 18 feet. Well within. Just gotta commit, commit. Slow down, all the way over. All right, you're going too slow. Nice, Ruben! I don't care, I don't care. That was beautiful. What the <laughs> Who's going? Chris? That's the tightest U-turn I've ever seen him make. And he committed late. If he would have committed right on time, he's in there. All right, Chris, show him how it's done. Good, all the way over. Nah, you gotta get over quicker. Try it again. Listen, if somebody shows up wearing a dress shirt to a practice session, you gotta watch them, all right? He means business. Oh, who's going? You going? Lean that bike. Lean that bike, Greg. Lean that bike. Trust and believe. All the way over. Head and eyes. Trust and believe. Throw it over. Lean it. Lean it. Yeah, you just got to lean. You got to lean. Nah, too early, Ruben, too early. That's it, he's the man. Lean it over, head and eyes, head and eyes. Go, all the way over, all the way over. Good. You're good, you're good, you're good. Nice. What was interesting about that is when you went down, you were like this. So you were leaning with the bike. I was. Okay. Yeah. I didn't do any damage, though. Really. No, you're not going to. Because your bike's protected. Okay. Your bike's protected. I've dropped them enough to know. Right. And I got stretch bags. So, Ruben, I think you've taken the throne now in the Garza household, man. Yeah. You've taken the throne now in the, in the Garza household. You were kind of trailing. That right there put you on the top, boy. Woo! Gigi said you're my king again. We're going to talk about that. He never stopped being her king. But anyway, all right, guys, we're going to move on to the bonus plus exercise. To lean or not to lean? That's the question. All right. Whoever did the mate. Oh, uh, Ruben. Proud of you more I could not be. Chris, your bike's on. Just outstanding, man. Outstanding. He went for it, too. I, I didn't think you were going to be in there. Again, guys, fat front tire. Just remember that. All right, guys. To lean or not to lean? That's the question. The cones are 10 feet apart. Now, Greg, this is yours to this, this is yours all day, man. It's yours for the taking. Whether you choose to take it or not, that's up to you. Okay, so this is called to lean or not to lean because the goal of this is to clear as many cones as possible without hitting one, without putting your foot down, without going past these outside lines. Uh, every time your rear wheel passes a cone, that counts. So, let's suppose you're, you're deciding to do it straight up. And you see that the next cone, you're not going to make it straight up. But if you lean, you'll make that, but you won't make the next one. I say lean and make that one so you can get that one credited towards you. All right? Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it, see how this clutch helps me do this. Um, a poor craftsman blames his tools. I say that all the time, but this is, this is totally different. All right? Best of three. Best of three. Greg, no pressure, man, but... 
This was this this was made for you. This is the first time in the daylight I've turned on a motorcycle and all the reflectors, I see them on the cone. Look at that. So remember, you got to hug these cones, but don't hug them too much because you're going to wind up hitting them with your saddlebag. If you got highway pegs, fold them in. Show me what you got, Gigi. One cone. Two cones. Next. Fat front tire, so it's gonna be harder for him to swing these handlebars. Because now we're doing everything straight up. It's one. Two. Nice. Three. Four. Three. Three cones. Three cones. All right, here comes the champ. The champ is here. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gee, what a surprise. This is for your motor school test. You pass it, you don't get in. No pressure. So we started turning there late. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. Three. He started the first turn too late. Started the first turn too late. Good, turn it. Two. Two cones. Two cones. Now this is tough for a gold wing, but the handlebars don't turn as much. And the lean angle ain't gonna help you. Two cones. All right, we got Gigi going again. All right, one cone. His shoulders look a lot higher now. at a nice clip of speed. Butter, baby. Life is not fair. Turn it, turn it. Turn it. That's it, you're out. Two cones. This one needs to make this, otherwise it's gonna be over. Greg's gonna win the best of three. Turn it, turn it. Oh no, what the hell was that? <laughs> One cone! Alright, that's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! Joshua went right for it. I don't know what the hell was going on there. Good, nice speed, nice speed. Drag it, return it, turn it, turn it. Alright, turn it the other way. Turn it the other way. Two cones. Two 
Two cones, that's it. Best of three, Josh won. All right, Slackers, listen up. Ah, the breeze feels nice. Shade, the breeze. But more importantly, you guys. You guys are my, my shade and my breeze. Okay, enough sucking up. Uh, it's FTL time, guys. Follow the, Follow the leader. All right, please listen carefully because a lot of the times people get eliminated not through lack of skill, but they just didn't follow instructions. Okay, I'm the leader. Follow me, do as I do, and do it the way I do it, for the most part. What I'm referring to mostly is when I get to exercise number four, right turns, left turns from a stop, I'm going to stop my motorcycle right at the line, right in the middle. If you decide, hey, I think I'm going to go over here because I feel more comfortable, you're out. Pull your motorcycle. Let's see, we got to get a good spot. Yeah, we're going to have to do it over here. Pull your motorcycle over here somewhere where those people were congregating earlier. Put right in the middle. We're going to do a circle around you. We're going to blow our horns. The horns are saying bye-bye, right? But don't worry about it. You're not going to be there alone for long. If you put a foot down, you're out and you owe me 10 push-ups. Go there, stay there. If you hit a cone, you're out. If you grab the front brake, you're out and you owe me 10 push-ups. Um, and I think that's pretty much it because we're not going to be riding on sidewalks or anything like that. So that's pretty much it. Are you guys tired? Yeah. I got a question. I always ask. When did this turn into a 24-hour fitness? <laughs> <laughs> I said it from the start, man. This ain't no wind road therapy out here. We out here to work, especially when you put a big fat-ass tire on the front of your motorcycle. You're working even more, yeah. right, to turn that thing. But you still rock that 18-foot U-turn. Well, we can tell you work out. I, I don't. I need to. I need to. Listen, I need to work out. I've been slacking big time. Preloaded Nation has taken over my life. Yeah. Um, okay, but if you, if you guys are tired, let me know. i get you out of here quick. <laughs> Instead of pussyfooting around, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys. <laughs> I'll just start right away. I just do an 18-foot U-turn and all you guys go in the middle and, and then we can move on to the slow race. The slow race is the last thing we're doing, right? Um, but anyway, any questions? I'm going to have a 360 camera up. We work on the honor system. If you know you put your foot down, if you know you hit a cone, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt that you didn't know. I don't expect you guys to be stool pigeons and turn each other in, but when I'm editing the video, if I see something, I have to make a, I have to, I have to make a, I have to make a judgment. A prize? Wait, this ain't the prices, right? Well, if, <laughs> Where's if the prize? I'm turning anybody in. So, oh, you mean a reward for being yeah, a stool reward. pigeon? Uh. All right, we know what we're dealing with now with Ruben, man. Although I'm, listen. I, I like whistleblowers, so that's a good thing, man. But anyway, yeah, sorry, there's no prize for being a whistleblower. All right, any other questions that are legitimate?
This is the moment we've all been waiting for. My money's on Greg. We'll see what happens. All right. The slow race. The winner is the loser. Whoever's rear wheel passes the finish line last is the winner. If you put your foot down, you're out. Just stop right where you are. If you hit the lines on the sides of you, stop where you are. You're out. When I say on your mark, get set. My hand's going to come down on go. If my hand comes down and your foot is still on the ground, just stay there. You're out. Best of three. Any questions? Preloaders and VI preloaders, start your engines. On your mark! Get set! Go! Need you though. Right, guys exit interviews exit interview. I, listen i bet on on greg and listen i would have and i'm staying in the resort casino <laughs> you guys enjoy yourself yes uh, absolutely. you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out four and a half five any change in that number i'll probably say i got a little bit more confidence i'd say five five and a half yeah because no nothing should be no four should even be in front of anything that you're saying okay i'm even questioning the five I said five or six or nine. Six you said five or six? Any change in that number? You did this? Six or seven, maybe. Yeah, I did. Okay, I couple, like it. A couple turns. I want to thank you guys again. You're welcome. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. At least yeah. one of you. Yes. Yeah, All right. I'm going right. You get the day off. I'm going to bring the Indian. Thank you. All right, that's right. Bring the Indian. Did you enjoy yourself? I did tremendously. Beautiful. You remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Two. Any change in that number? No. Okay. Pleasure, brother. Thank you for coming out. Oh, man, absolutely, man. We're My pleasure. Get, we're going to get you back here next year. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Oh, Epic that's where I'm staying. Okay. I smell a sandbag coming. But anyway, <laughs> you enjoy yourself? Yeah, a lot of fun. Again, man, I want to thank you so much for allowing me to ride Jane Doe since she doesn't have a name. You enjoy yourself? Yeah, had a lot of fun. You surprised me, man. Yeah. You remember what you rated yourself? You rated yourself a one. Yeah. Any change in that number? Yeah, I think I'm about two or three. I, I, there's a little work, you know, on the last yeah. few exercises, but absolutely. Yeah. Pleasure, brother. Yep. Thank you nice again, man. You, for you too, man. Enjoy yourself, man. Yeah, it was fun. It's tiring. It's, it's oh, a yeah. it's a hard working day. Absolutely. Yeah. The sun doesn't help beating down on you. Yeah. Um, you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? A four. Any change in that number? Probably like a two. <laughs> I feel like that. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Listen, it's humble now here, but you know what you yeah. need to work on, right? I know what I need to work. Preload on. and keep it loaded, brother. Yeah. Pleasure, yeah, man. Thank you. All right. You enjoy yourself? Absolutely. Your new name is The Ringer. Okay. <laughs> you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? A six. Any change in that number? I'll keep it out of six. I don't lean enough. Okay. I practice leaning more. Pleasure, brother. My pleasure also. Thank All you. All right. You enjoy yourself? Yes, sir. All right. Uh, you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Yes, yeah, so a two. You rated yourself a two? Uh-huh. <laughs> any, cha any change in that number? Yes. I'm going to go to a seven. Thank you. No, I don't think anybody's ever gone from a two to a seven. Give me my microphone, you sandbagger. <laughs> Pleasure, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. All right. You enjoy yourself? I did. Thank you. Good, man. You did. You far exceeded my expectations, man. Wow. Thank um, you. you remember what you rated yourself when you first came out? Yeah, I said five. Any change in that number? I'd probably say four or five. 
but I was not a five when I came in. Okay. So a huge change. Gotcha. Huge gotcha. change. And I told these guys, I said it off camera, I said, if anybody ever shows up to a practice session wearing a dress shirt, you got to watch that person because they mean business. Pleasure meeting you, man. You too. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So listen, that's going to do it. These guys said, come, well, Ruben said, let's do the exit interviews in the shade. And I said, uh-uh. I need these mountains in the background. I traveled a long way to get here, and I don't have that where I live, so I want to see that in the background. Anyway, I want to thank, again, Ruben and Maria for everything that they've done for me, everything they've done for me and Anita, and everything they do for Preloader Nation. I want to, again, thank Pastor Fred for letting us use this church parking lot and the facilities just above and beyond. I love it. I love it. I want to thank all the preloaders and VI preloaders that came out here today. Uh, to participate in this practice session. I want to thank people that came here just to hang out and carry my camera around for me. Just, guys, all of that helps out so much. This is exhausting, right? But it's always worth it. And I'm so happy that tomorrow's practice session, practice session number 72, doesn't start until noon. So uh, I get some reprieve, guys. I get to relax. Anyway. We love you, Rob. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love these guys. Love them so much. Um, and, uh, that's it, guys. Practice session number 71 in the books. We're going to do it all again tomorrow. We can't leave these cones out here, so we got to pick them up. I love all of you guys as well. Remember, guys, spend more time being thankful for the things that you have and less time complaining about the things that you don't. Seat time doesn't equal practice time, guys. And if you have time to ride your motorcycles, you have time to practice on them. Preloading. Keep it loaded. Until next time, guys. All right, guys, we're taking a quick break. I want to show you something. I had it shipped. Boom. Look at that. Now, if you guys are avid watchers of uh, Be The Boss Your Motorcycle, I want you to look at this breakout. Look at this beautiful breakout. I'm going to walk around it. And I want you to tell me, is this my motorcycle or is it not? And if it's not, tell me why it's not. I'm not going to go around the back. I don't want to give anybody any clues with a license plate or anything like that. Because if you see my Georgia plate, you're going to know. Well, let me not say that. Anyway, guys, I want to talk to you about... This guy right here. Come on up here, Lawrence. Lawrence, what's your name? Lawrence. That's <laughs> <laughs> your question. Where are you from? I'm from Victorville. Okay, Victorville, what's that, Tennessee, Alabama? No, it's California. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah. And uh, what made you buy this bike? Uh, you did, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. made you buy it, huh? You made me buy it. Once okay. I And I had just bought a Harley like nine months before I bought this one. Mm -hmm. After I saw you with that new breakout, I said, oh, he's going to make me go trade this bike. <laughs> and that's what I did. That's what he did, man. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you, sir. And man, she is beautiful. Does she have a name? No, I haven't given her a name yet. All right, everybody, check out Jane Doe. Um, Jane Doe is beautiful. It is beautiful. Now, if you see, guys, you know when I did that review, I said I was going to add footboards. And then I decided against it because I was worried about, you know, leaning and stuff. He put footboards on, but, you know, they don't really, they don't flip up. They flip toward the bike. So I'm going to tell Lawrence, I think he should take these off. Because if this bike goes down, you don't have an engine guard, first of all. This is going to push this all into this. Now you're going to have two things damaged instead of none. Because this, this, this ain't going to get damaged. It'll just move. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is supposed to go on, but definitely not on this. And this bike don't have a lot of lean angle at all. And they don't look bad. I'm glad I'm seeing it because I didn't know what it would look like. It looks good. But it's got to be a way to get these so that they twist, they go up and not in. A beautiful bike, man. Of course, I'm going to say it's beautiful. Thank you for coming out, man. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, sir.